Joe do it. Click it. 300 milliseconds? I don't know. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, up. shit, it went on. Yeah. Well, I guess next time. There's always next time. We had a comment from someone saying that our uh, jarring transitions from the opening into the actual show are or really what? throwing off the juju. Why don't you transition my nuts in your mouth? You, Whoever uh, said that. Yeah. I think... Thank God there's no guest. I saw that in the chat. What is that about? I like, all right, look. I tried to get a guest. It was a girl. When's the last time? We, is this the only girl we've had? Uh, Steph, the alter nerd. And uh, Trixie, what's wrong with you? You're right. We had a woman. <laughs> a the very last guest we transphobic had was comment a lady that you've I made. I forgot. <laughs> Already. Fuck. <laughs> Guests don't come on the show because you're always so rude about them after they're when they're not here. What are you talking about? You're always like negging. When the guests are on, you're like, all of our other guests suck, but they know that. Like they hear you saying that and they're like, they're gonna talk shit about me. No, I don't talk shit about the guests. Oh, let's hear in chat. Uh H if Vito talks sh- well. I'm very S, I'm very friendly shit. towards the guests. But other guests, you like neg other guests to look cool in front of the guest who's here. But in their mind, they're like, oh, shit, does that mean they're talking about me when I'm not here? <laughs> I don't know if that's what happens. I love all our guests. Which one do you love the most? Ke- Which Don- one do you love the least? Uh, You've said it, man. No. Probably Mr. Girl, because you had that big fight with well, him Well, the, the Mr. Show. Girl episode was a disaster. I've said this before. Me and Mr. Girl have, like, great... S. Everybody's essing in the chat. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> For sh- talking shit. I do not talk shit. Uh, me and Mr. Girl have great conversations. Mr. Girl off and I. the air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then anytime I get him on a podcast, he's like deadly serious and we can't joke around. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> he has like he has like a broadcast persona. What do you guys talk about when you're off the off the air? For some reason the topic always comes back to transgender stuff. Oh, I see. I don't know how it happens. Oh, cool. Oh, he's good. You see what's going on Just with that? Two good old boys from Massachusetts talking about trans penises. Uh, talking about for an trans hour. penises. Talking about what you crazy uh, conservative morons are doing. Oh, what us are doing? Yeah. Did you see Nick Ricada on Destiny today? I didn't. Was it good? I mean, not for you. What do you mean if not you, for if me? If you can watch that interview and come away with it thinking that Destiny your won? version of uh, Trump doing any kind of fraud at all is valid. Then uh, there's you're not going to make it. Are we talking about that call? I was listening to Destiny. It was the Trump call when he was trying to get him to find eleven thousand votes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was listening to that call, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's illegal. I'm pretty sure it's not illegal. Yeah, he's just kind of being. Like, it's not illegal to be the president. And go, hey, I think you got a bunch of fraud down there. Why don't you fucking yeah, crack down on? He these was guys? making his case. I mean, he's still delusional. What the things he was saying when the oh. guy's like, we've checked all that. There's no fraud there, but. It's not against the law to be a delusional Check it again. You ever, you ever deal with the government? Check it again. <laughs> Sir, we don't show a house at that residence. Well, I'm in it right now. Why don't you check it again? No. <sighs> already, Sir, already done. Checked it, sir. <laughs> sir, don't get that attitude with me, he sir. Was talking My to, computer says there ain't no house at that residence. But he was talking to a Republican like mayor, right? It's like if that guy thought there was fraud in favor of Trump, he obviously would have been like, yeah, of course. Rhino. He's talking to a rhino. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You think he's one of those sneaky never-Trumpers? Get him out. They're all never-Trumpers, man. They're all never-Trumpers. us and Trump against the government well, and against Jeffrey Epstein. Well, Are you? Did you make it on the list? I didn't, sadly. I was oh, really hoping. Although I was, I don't know if you saw my court transcript. I did. There was one mention of me in the in the files. Well, the... Oh, you didn't see that? No, I didn't. Uh, it's, it's, on, it's part of Vito's Twitter. It's part of Vito's <laughs> Twitter. Okay. Well, Vito's Twitter has been rocking this week. Vito's Twitter is on fire this week. My Twitter is the best Twitter. How much money you make in there? Uh, Thirty bucks I got from Elon Musk. I got like seventy bucks this week. What? How? Yeah, from Twitter. I don't know. You didn't do anything good. All my tweets have been <sighs> fucking bangers. How'd you get seventy? Ripping on Eric July, I guess. I don't know. That's I got true. that. That's pretty uh, good. Whatever crowd. I, I got thought you Eric know what money. Remember, I had that big invincible tweet that got like fifteen million views. Yeah, weird one. Yeah, same month that every advertiser left Twitter, so I made nothing off oh, that shit. Oh man, where's my violin song? Fucking uh, Musk is fucking it up for me, and he's <laughs> fucking it up for everybody else. I want my Twitter money. All right, I wish that no one would get that money. I wish I could give my money back yeah. so that none of these fuckheads that are <laughs> big tweeters would get any money. Well, I'm uh, I'm working on getting it. Okay, ready? Yeah. To do the show. Oh, is that what we're doing? The show. 
I told you to drink the whole coffee before the show, didn't I? Biggest like a like a barium. Problem. <laughs> People hate <laughs> your variations. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. I don't the care. only show that ranks every problem Ooh. in the universe, from godly women trying to tease, yeah, to scraping Vito's nasty head cheese. <laughs> I'm Mark Vandaloo. I'm Dick Masterson. Joining me as always is Vito Giswal. Hi, Dick. I'm very excited to be here today. You get a good scrape in before the show? I bought a scraper. Uh, was it for humans? It hasn't shown up yet. Oh. Apparently it's very normal. To have head cheese? It's not head cheese. It's just, it's, it's... Head goo. Seepum, they call it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of seepum. Please don't tell me it's called seepum. I think it's called seepum. It could be uh, sepsum. Seep them. Seep damn near killed them. Seep them. Damn near killed them. <laughs> I got too oh, much. Doctor, I, <laughs> doc, I was sleeping with my live-in rent boy, and I got mm -hmm. all this cheese coming out of my head, and he was choking on it all night. Was there anything I could do? And the doctor says, seep them. And you go, damn near killed them. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really work, though. It do I, I got Because it's not rectum. Uh, yeah, I've been killing it on Twitter, uh, having fun. Okay. I have a new viral tweet with now oh, you six. You said Big Mouth is a pedophile? Million, no, that one I took down. <laughs> <laughs> so now there's no record of where it came from. So the right. Big Mouth guys are like, that's a fucking fake tweet. They're like, well, then where did it come from? Okay, I realized I never, I don't know if I ever brought this up on this show. Okay. And I should have made a video about it. Okay. So I have the Victory News Network account, which sometimes I remember exists, and then I make a fake stupid news story, and it's funny. Right. So at one point I did one for, did I talk about this, the Sound Freedom guy? I think so, yeah. Yeah, and I said uh, he wants to microchip your kids. Yeah. I did a search for that again today, and people are still posting <laughs> that fake news article being like, well, you can't trust the Sound of Freedom guy. He's trying to put microchips in all your kids. And I'm like, it is just way too easy to make fake news. It's, like, actually scary. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I, like, yeah. it's kind of too much power. Hair. Look at this. Well, you took a, what, you took a shower before I got here? Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot to dry my hair off. Why don't you just take a Mexican shower? What the fuck is that? That's when you just spray deodorant on yourself and don't take a shower. <laughs> Is that an Italian phrase? Yeah. That's what we the call it. The Italians are criticizing anybody for smelling too much? Are you fucking serious? It's not an Italian phrase. Columbus That's a Connecticut sailed phrase. around the world to buy more things to stink with. That actually comes from- Oh, I come back with more perfume from the Orient. Hey, hey, Paisanos, I got a bunch of fucking perfume and spice over here. I must be fair. Oh. That comes from my, uh, my wasp side of the family. That's a wasp saying. Speaking of wasps, don't forget Cyberfrog. Now available on Indiegogo. Oh, Man, Eric perfect. July's really, really, uh, really fighting fighting spurging out everybody. Who's spurging out more this week? Let me ask chat that. Eric July, who ended, who ended 2023 on a high note, said, I'm above all the drama, and I will not be uh, engaging with these drama farmers. Immediately started 2024 by engaging with drama farmers. I can't tell you who you're talking about because of your accent. <laughs> well. Who... Who spurred out more this week? Eric July or, or Maddox? Maddox is still posting a new chapter updates of the video he's already released. <sighs> Pedocast. Which is becoming more and more pathetic by the day. Why doesn't he just put them all out at once then? Why does he just blow his brains all out? <laughs> Why doesn't he like, uh... What? What are you doing? I'm just making sure the show's working. Uh, I don't know, man. Why doesn't he just, like, make a different video? Yeah. Hey, just, see, it's working. It's when did that video come out? Like, mid, like a beginning December. of December? Yeah. So what's he He's taking just, back Maddox Law. He's going to send the next six months just doing... And, 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 he said he's looking for a lawyer to get a restraining order against yeah. you. Against these nuts. Can't you just give him one? Like, who cares? You don't want to be Me? there, Maddox. I don't want to restrain you. You lose your guns, dude. Are you fucking nuts? Oh, really? You, I will go. Well, you lose all your. You lose your guns if you, you lose, lose some any sort of gun order? privileges. I don't think that's you get true. put on a red law. Why would I? Why would I give him anything? I only take. It's that's not that my... I'm saying you have to give him one legally, but I don't know why he needs one because you're not making any effort to be near him. So people stop making fun Did of my him. voice. Just like go down a pitch from drinking this coffee. I told you to drink it before the show. Yeah. You're going to get all fucked up and goofy halfway through. I am going to get goofy. 
I'm going to have a goofy Gus on the show. I'm already a little I did goofy. a bonus episode where we watched Maddox's thing, yeah. and we got to the part where he takes back Maddox Lost. Mm. So he took it he back. Said it's the defi- he said it's the greatest moment of my career that I got rid of all you people. All of my fans yeah. that were once fans. Thousands upon thousands of fans. Yeah, like, so say, I, w- say it proudly, Maddox lost. I lost all of you as fans, and I'm, there's nothing that makes me more proud than yeah. that. It was the fucking weirdest thing. He, again, I mean, I already Pathetic. made this point. Pathetic. Who did you? Who did he make this video for, if not to his dad, I guess. his old fans <laughs> that he's not such a bad guy? If you hate- He all- said this one's for you, Pops. Right. <laughs> But you're basically saying, okay, so- sorry. I don't know where Armenians go. When they I die. don't know. I they don't go. They anywhere. go to the back to the dealership. Yeah, they exactly. go to the big dealership <laughs> in, in Sepulveda. So the video isn't for any. Here's the thing: he's making two different arguments. Yeah. One is that you've been misled against me. Uh huh. Right. That Dick has lied about me, and that's the reason you don't like me. Yeah. But also because you fell for those lies, I hate you. <laughs> And I'm like, well, I want then to why, ruin your lies. Yeah. I'm like, then why even address the lies to begin with? Whatever lies you perceive, why not just go, well, if they're dumb enough to fall for the lies, I don't want them to be my audience anyway. Instead, you're simultaneously trying to convince them that they are lies that and lied, mislead. Yeah, that they've been and two, misled. That they're so stupid for falling for <laughs> them, them that you hope they never come back. <laughs> And that's the most proudest thing yeah, the proudest of your thing. whole career. Is a ha- the most proudest thing of your whole career is a hashtag that I made. Yeah. <laughs> There's no... <laughs> right, why don't you just stream as a banana again? It, would, it was so, such a simple. time. Everyone liked time. the banana. I okay. like the banana. Are you ready for this? Yes. Oh. <sighs> Big leaguing one. Big leaguing. Big leaguing. My problem. And your other problem was fingernails, right? Well, yeah, but that was last. That came, that in, came last. in last. Um, a lot. There's been, there was a lot of like uh, prejudice against that problem. Just people reacting emotionally. A lot of people said they gagged while listening to the episode. That was because of the head cheese stuff, though, not the fingernails. I don't know. Some guy said his girlfriend did it, so I'm like, well, next that's time, I, next time, I, blanche yeah. for everyone to do it. Then, if a girl, right? Doing if it. it makes a girl upset, you, we did something wrong. No, she also right. does the fingernail thing. I, I think next time I shave my head, I'm going to show you guys how much I can scrape off the top. I'm just going to make a little video. Can you vape it? Yeah, let's vape my head shoes. <laughs> Not let's. If I bring in my head shoes, do you want to? Do you want me no, to? No, I don't. It in want, little... I don't want it in my house. Well, I'm going to sneak it in. Throw it in the shit pit. I'm going to sneak it in and I'm going to hide it somewhere in your house so you don't know where it is. The dog will find it. The dog will find yeah. it. Will probably. Eat. Your dog loves licking me, so whatever's coming out of my body must taste delicious. And and yeah, food stuff I think I'm constantly from... leaking marinara and olive oil dog, is what it is because your I... dog runs every time I come over. The dog's not happy to see me like a dog's happy to see a human being. The dog is literally like, oh, snacks here. Awesome. Snacks. Oh, boy. Bacon bits just walked through the fucking door. And the dog's just licking me like all over. Like a trash over. bag yeah. from McDonald's just walked in the door. <laughs> out back of McDonald's. Your dog views me as a leaking bag of McDonald's that it can lick. I'm glad you said something sensation. about it. Yeah. She is like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> That's the excitement I see in your dog's eyes. It's not friendly puppy. <laughs> It's ravenous creature excited for a taste of something good. Every time I come through that door, I'm like, yeah, you can lick me. All right. What do you got here? What, oh, do, we got? what do we got? Mm. Mm. It's like horseradish. What do you got over here? Ooh, this is a new taste. Uh, somebody spilled some garlic all over themselves. I'm going all around the, the Orient with tonight. this. <laughs> mm, what's over here? Uh, We're a tasty people, the Italians. All right, so the winner was... <laughs> <laughs> we are. It's our way. <laughs> we get our Vito uh, flavored kibble. I should be selling some sort of Italian <laughs> snacks. What's what? F- Pokemon selling what? Uh, black label cookies or whatever the fuck? Cookies. White label. Is that what you call them? I, I don't know. Yeah. How is she selling them? Well, <laughs> if it's white On label. Layaway? Yeah, that, that would be black <laughs> label. I got to do that. I'll sell pepperoni bites. Um. Okay. So wait, so the winner was big league. Big leaguing, cutting yourself, shaving was second. That's Fuck. a big problem. That should have been higher. Big problem. Um, what was third? Conservative porn. Yeah. That horse. That. Uh, sorry, girl is still going too. Posting her tits. Yeah. No, why is she the one who's like? So wait, she debated somebody, the redheaded libertarian. Is that who? A uh, black, cons- a Christian. Okay. 
And then, uh, oh no, that's somebody else. There's somebody multiple. was on Alex Stein's show, I think. The redheaded libertarian who's yeah. just like a, she came off like a huge bitch. Don't yeah, you think? They're all huge bitches. Well, you know, I don't. <laughs> oh man, you gotta just like don't ever talk yeah. like that. I thought the face was bad, but woof. Conservative women. A voice for a uh, face for dating. And yeah. a voice for Tinder. They don't understand. Part of the trad wife thing was that the trad wives kept their mouth shut. <laughs> so. Or else they got one of yeah. these. <laughs> exactly. Why don't you bake this pie? <laughs> we need a traditional lifestyle. Good. Shut up. Shut the... Your daddy hits Why you with a sack of onesies. To... Oh, it's uh, so bad. Yeah. Just women yapping. Um, Okay. Oh, we got, I got so much stuff here. This, this Soska sis. I don't even want to talk about Eric July anymore. The woke... So, the Soska Me Too sisters? <sighs> yeah. Uh, and Eric, they want to trans kids, too? The Soska sisters? Did you see that? They want to trans kids. They want to cut your kids' dicks off or put a dick on your kids or something. Well, I think what Eric July is learning is, like, when you want to hire good, you know, yeah. writers. Yeah. You're going to end up hiring liberals. liberals. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> Or else you end up with Chuck Dixon. He's fine, but like, he's also like a million years old. That's you know? what I thought. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Doesn't this kind of prove that woke is like <laughs> good, good? Yeah. Woke <laughs> good for doing good art. Right. Yeah. Okay. Turns out the woke is, well, the fun. wokes are usually pretty good at have writing. Some, some have stuff. fun selling me too to your audience of uh, neck bearded uh, retards. Hopefully, there. well, hopefully he you know came down hard in the editorial room. I'm sure he's really whipping those ladies <laughs> into shape. <laughs> How, what if they meet too? What he goes, can you make I sound bigger? And they're like, yeah, we can make a bigger egg. Cool. Okay, uh, Ben asks- Is I've, that how you spell Goodying? Yes, Eric, we've discussed this many times. Okay. Uh, ben S says, I've watched my 12-year-old brother-in-law watch fake versions of spinning gotchas in a racing game where the guy gets an epic car every single time, and he honestly believes they're real. We were talking about those- those preposterously fake, fake gotcha loot games box, that have whatever videos. 150 million views on yeah. YouTube, which is- <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess blackpilling. I, I guess, guess. yeah. We're, I'm really blackpilled on the fact that like I, most of the viral content you see is just fake, fake gambling, fake gambling, fake gambling, fake loot boxes, or a guy claiming that he's a billionaire and he's gonna make you a billionaire like he is. It's all just fake. We're really making content for like a one percent of people. That's I the entire. A, I took a video and I added fake dialogue to it, and it's gotten. Like six million views on Twitter, and I'm like, yeah, nothing's real, and there's no reason to make anything real anymore because we all yeah. just live in a society of lies. And then dogs eat your. Cl Do you have trouble walking by homeless people? Uh, Are they like, what's that? Let me get some. No, mostly just walking by dogs. Okay. Dogs seem no to notice me as I walk by. Uh, Crimson Shin says Vito weighing himself is the new Titanic song. It's hilarious to hear him make all these excuses. Maybe if you stopped drinking energy drinks all day long, you wouldn't have to. I took a I took a picture weight. of my scale after the last show. Oh, what what for? Because I'm telling you that like I come in here and it's at the end of the day. You took a picture of your scale after you went home from the show. Yeah. No. Like. Or did you stop at a truck stop on a different day? What does that number say? Two ninety two. Ten pounds lighter than your scale. Look, it fluctuates. How much? How much is it to get you on the scale? I don't know. I you don't think it's pick. a good bit. You're, it's a people are frothing at the mat. Look, they're calling you Maddox. That's as <laughs> bad as it gets. That's like the N word for me I for get, this show. I get it's like I get. Of course, the, it's a good bit. They're paying you money to do it. That's the definition of a good bit. Look, I get. Look, the Titanic bit. His objection to it makes no sense. That's why it's funny. My objection makes sense. No sense. It makes no sense. It was a time. You're plus or minus 10 of 300. That's like, it's like, uh, what if after the Super Bowl, they kept playing a couple more football games just for the hell of they it? They do do that. No, they, they do. Have a, they <laughs> have the an Rose exhibition Bowl? league. This is the Rose Bowl? They have a bowl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for college. <laughs> we did the weight loss contest. We did the big weigh-in. That's it. The bit is done. <laughs> The bit is you is is the, the, the bit, bit is, that, is that I'm fat. The and you that, already know I'm fat. The bit is okay? that you lied. All that shit about I've come to terms with it and I'm doing it my way and I'm making changes. All that's a fucking lie. It's not a lie because I just showed you the scale and it's two ninety two. Who knows who was on that scale? I'm on you the scale. Been, you could have you could have been tipping yourself over. What are you leaning over for on the table? I have lost. Look, I lost twenty pounds, which is great. Of All water. Right? 
No, That's the it problem. wasn't you didn't water. St- you didn't make I any lost, life-changing habits. Shut up. I lost 20 pounds of actual weight, and I lost 10 pounds of water, okay? And I gained a little bit back because it's the fucking holidays, and I gained ate a like lot a moron. Back. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right? I gained... No, I honestly, I probably gained like four pounds. So then back. get on the scale. What's the big no, deal? No, because it's at the end of the fucking day, and I'm wearing all these clothes, and it's like, <sighs> look, I'm just, it's, it's, it's not. It's the bit. It the bit ran its course. We did the. Everybody weight is loss. clamoring for the bit. Everybody. Well, sometimes you got to go out on just, top. Don't give the audience what they want. Is that your definition yeah. of? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody thinks they want, you know, like another fucking, what, Beatles album? Everybody wants, oh, I, oh, there's a new Beatles song. Can you believe in the unearthed a new Beatles song? They're going to punish you for this. And they put it up, and it sucks. They're going to punish you for this. It's going to, it's, it's, it's. So we- you're saying no more weigh-ins? Because you know you're just going to get rocket right back up to 310, 320, 350. How about. You're going to be living in a van selling magic cards. With a maybe I will anorexic. How about composition of daddy how about issues? I get like a grace period where I don't got to go into the show and go. Oh, I can't you wait. Had a grace period. You had three weeks. Three weeks is not a grace period. What right? do you want? A year and a half? For six months, I had everyone in this fucking fan base sending me messages about how I'm a big fat piece of shit and how I'm not allowed to eat beef and broccoli and how I need to go do what some fucking yeah. chakra cleanse and whatever the fuck else. No, stop drinking energy. Stop drinks. drinking energy. That's which it. I I did, which I did. <laughs> Prove it. I have. Have I ever brought one in here? Prove Other than it by you're slugging them down outside. I am going through a transitioning period. You respect my transition. Thank you. All right. We're moving into the new year. I got a whole plan. What's your plan? Not ever get weighed and never pay attention to it. I got a whole plan. Okay. What is it? Well, part of it has been look at all this great content available now. <laughs> At youtube.com slash biggest problem. We got clips going up. Shilling is We got the Wolverine clip went up. We got a new bonus episode page where all the bonus episodes are laid out. New content hitting the veto page. We got the comic book firing on all cylinders. I got a lot of shit going on. Okay. And as I'm okay, if you don't, if you disagree with Vito, leave it in the leave a comment. Let me know in the comment. Let me know in the comment if you don't, if you think this bit is done, is done. Let, let everyone, There's I think, no reason for Peter to be weighed I ever. I think the audience knows this bit's getting a little tired. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be those crazoids in the audience who are like, oh, it's, it's good every time. It's good every those time. Those are called fans. At a certain point. Yeah. You know. Okay. We've done it. Uh, Magic the Seven says, wait, I was also convinced Rebel Moon was a Star Wars movie, LMAO. Oh, a lot of people thought Rebel Moon was a Star Wars movie, apparently. Uh, Gun Ranger says, Vito hates hidden prices, then he drops that people have to pay for shipping, despite it saying free shipping on Indiegogo. Where does it say free shipping on Indiegogo? I don't know. It doesn't this say guy's that anywhere on the idiot. page. I don't know. He's just making shit up. <laughs> uh, Go to the page. Literally every single tier says shipping is not included. It says it. Okay. When you click... Okay. I'm, I'm kill all okay. People. If it's if people have to pay for shipping, it didn't say free shipping. That's it fine. It did. Yeah, it didn't say free shipping. It said, "Well, works. You'll get stuck with the shipping the reason, later." It you know, said, you're not going to get thanks stuck for the money. I'm going to stick you with. Okay. Okay. First, I'll charge you shipping first later. First of all, it's better that I don't take your money ahead of time. Okay. So now you have the the money to hold on to. It's not just sitting in my bank account. If I wanted to rip you off and have an extra 10k and invest in bitcoin or whatever else i could have done that but instead i let you hold on to it you're welcome second of all because then it would have been like 40 bucks for the comic though when you're you're the way you're charging them by hitting them with a it's lot and then bucks. hitting them with it's gonna a little be like, more it's not gonna be much to ship it it's not gonna it's a book is there like a receiving fee too no there's no receiving <laughs> fee. all right we're gonna get the cheapest sh- and the other thing is you wait because shipping rates at the time were pretty bad yeah I think actually right now, because the economy is getting a little better, shipping rates are getting better. Really? A little bit. How does that work? Shipping goes down? Well, because, like, there was a, what do you call it? There was a, fuck, I can't, I forget the word. There was, like, a bunch of, like, bottlenecks and, like, fucking uh. shipping and, like, especially international stuff. Oh, supply I don't know about that. supply chains were really fucked up at the beginning of last year when I ran the campaign. Oh. The supply chains. So you are- did everyone a favor. I did everyone much. a favor. Pretty much. Look, I mean, anything could happen. It's possible that, like, war's going to break out and the shipping costs are actually going to be worse. But right now, it looks like you're actually going to save money because I waited. You're welcome. <laughs> Congratulations. <Okay. laughs> and what, one last thing I'm going to mention. Okay. One last thing is uh, if I ran the shipping fees through Indiegogo, they take 5% of it. 
Oh. So they would that's what? yours. Oh, that you would have charged extra for the five percent. You're saying? No, I'm saying I would have just like you know this jump. Hey, I would have had to charge you're to offset saving that money. I would have had to charge to offset the five percent. Yeah. Okay. Because I wouldn't have gotten enough. Okay. To actually, so that makes it. sense to me. Yeah. Um. That way you don't lose the five percent. Why do you want to give Indiegogo more money? I fucking hate Indiegogo. <laughs> Oh, wow. Sneaking that tip on the- That a, tip was dirty. That's dirty. That tip was dirty. I'm still worried people left the tip. They probably did. Um, let's see. Evanger, Evanger says, I don't bite my fingernails. The idea of keeping a pile of them on my coffee table is deranged. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Uh, Jordan Andrew K. Uh, Lol Vito, kids these days are growing up more conservative than ever. Where are you getting your stats from? Kids are tired of the woke garbage. I saw I think that's true, a thing though. that says young men are swinging more conservative, but young women, it's like 100% totally the liberal. Opposite. Yeah. yeah. So overall, <laughs> I think the numbers go in favor of women hate uh, you guys. <laughs> they, they're like, what do you mean I can't get an abortion? That's my favorite uh, that thing. That abortion thing is, uh, that abortion drives me insane. Might possibly like. It'll cost the, it'll easily cost the I was going to say, like, you guys had a good chance of the election, but like. It cost the midterms. 100%. Every, dude, the midterms went. So far, like you talk to them and you're like, uh, well, you can you can just say some abortions are okay, and you can then you can stop a lot of them, or you can keep being retarded, and then say like you're doing it for God, and then you can stop none of them. And like, right. but you don't understand saving lives. It's like, okay, so the retarded one, like I got it. Yeah, just say the retarded one. You don't need to do this whole spectacle that you're doing. Normally, in a midterm election, like the party in power always loses, like drastically. Mm -hmm. And this was one like one of the rare instances. They won't. Where it's they like, refuse to shut up about it. Yeah, it's a really... It's, it's insane. Optically, it's like, what do you guys... Do you want to win the election, or do you want to, like... We're talking about saving lives. You got to win the election well, to save lives. Both. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> talking about saving lives, okay? It's what plants crave. It's what it's plants abortions. crave. It's abortions. It's what plants crave. Yeah. It is what Can you abort you. yourself? Yeah. And then come back around after the election. Uh, so the, the same way that the Democrats have locked up the black vote forever, they're now locking up the female vote. And if you ain't got the ladies and you ain't got the blacks, what do you got? <laughs> It's jack shit. Jack shit, exactly. Bunch of idiots talking about abortion all day. Um, let's see. Big Cap, I would have thrown that money back at Eric, too. The dude is so big on respect, disrespect, but he can't even see how disrespectful he is towards others. Yeah. I don't know anyone's defending that. Like, also, hell, congratulations to that guy who immediately raised back the $700 that Eric And then some. And then some. Doubled it. Uh, Mikkel shit says there's a ton of female teachers that molest kids, too. It's not just men. Okay. Uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I feel like we get one of those men. messages every yeah. week. Hey, did you know that uh, women are molested? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's uh, you know, Good you word. really got to watch out for those. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna make the list though because I don't care that much to be honest. Great show, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. When are you gonna get a? Uh, when are you gonna get a uh, Weatherman's suit? One of those like meteorologist uh, sticks. To do what? Fat watch. Oh, where am I gonna put it? Rumble. Put it on my channel. Oh, no. Put they'll, it they'll kill it. They won't. You can do fat watch. You know, you don't know what it is to pick on fat people like I do. Yeah. Look at the, look, even your scale thing, you're melting down, having a not huge fucking down. fit about I'm it. Imagine you're down. a woman at Google HQ watching this shit. I just think it's, I just think it's an inaccurate representation of my accurate, my actual yeah. weight. I'm just going to play the Titanic song. Let's play the Titanic song. Instead of you weighing That's in. That's funny. Vito. <laughs> Every <laughs> night I weigh myself. Okay, uh, yep. do we have any bits or anything? I don't think so. No? Okay, my problem is uh, I'm the winner. That's my problem. What? That you're the winner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, DEI. You know what that is? The Drug Enforcement the drug in Initiative. Enforcement initiative. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, make women a, a diversity inclusivity and something you know what equity it is. are you fucking around i think it's equity is that what it is well now you got me fucked up diversity equity and inclusion right equity and inclusion is that what it is yeah. uh i don't know mark cuban has been crying about it all day today yeah that's but what, everyone just pointed out that mark mind. cuban is lying oh he is yeah why well because his definition of what it is is what it actually what it should is, be is. what should it be it should be let's start there. that you get everybody in a room and you go, okay, whoever can solve this math equation the fastest gets to be the new math professor. 
Yeah. And if the black guy solves it first, or the Asian lady, <laughs> or whatever. Oh yeah. What what if whatever happens? Whatever if it happens, happens to be happens. a woman and a or a black guy, then they get the job. <laughs> right. Well, that's what it should be. Is you can bring in. Wait a minute, but that's what it was before all this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it was. That's the thing. That's Mark Cuban is lying. He's lying. He's saying, well, all it means is that you get a bunch of people and then you choose from among them. It's like, no, that's not what it means. It means you get a bunch of people and, and then you throw all the white guys. You get rid of them. You throw out because <laughs> there's too many of them. Yeah, and then you give it to whoever's left. Yeah. Um, Hopefully I'm, a black woman, because then you cover both bases. And then if you don't, if you threw everybody out, you just start over, right? And then you ask your friends. You guys know every time you always say like, "I have a black friend." Are you being? Are any of you being serious about that? Yeah, because we need them. We need to hire them right away. Uh, I brought in some stats around it. Well, this is what? how I get canceled. <laughs> what this problem? <laughs> You could go get on the scale if you want to be off camera for this. I was just saying, my fav- I think I've said my favorite phrase on this show, or at least one of them is, I've got some stats here. Some stats to do with race. 35,000 no. okay, people. Okay, not percent. 35,000 percent of no, bicycle. No. Yeah. Uh, 35,000 people worked in DEI-related jobs. 35,000. The, the number has increased significantly in the past two years. It's a lot of people. To do nothing? Well, to do nothing but... Make things but worse. Make everything racist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It wasn't this racist when we grew up. Now now everybody, all the normal people across the USA are having uh, quarterly semita- seminars where they tell you not to touch black people's hair. Right. In the workplace. Right? Even though we want to touch it so bad. We don't want to. Nobody ever wanted to touch it. But well, well, white women, poor white women who were raised in trailer parks yes, did. Yes. Even though they've touched it a million times, they still want to touch it. I don't really want to touch it that bad. You, it is cool looking. Really? Oh yeah, Winston's hair was cool. That uh, yeah, yeah. the black guy that came in? No, the other Winston. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to touch it for? What do you want to? I don't want to touch it. I was just like, yeah, I, I understand the texture of a black man's hair. And like, you know, that's fun. Do you want to touch everyone's hair or just? Hair? I, mean, I guess I just don't have hair anymore, so I see any kind of nice yeah. hair. I want to run. It's a my lot of people. Thirty-five thousand people. Of people. Does it sound like a? Does that sound like a group of people that are just gonna not work anymore? Like, okay, problem solved. We're gonna hang up the. Uh, we're gonna hang up our powerpoints about. Yeah. <laughs> that you need to not make jokes at work. Yeah, that punctuality to, is a uh, is a function of white supremacy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that maybe that's my biggest problem with it. Like, you gotta round everybody up and sit in a classroom and pretend to. Pretend to pretend to be racist. Yeah, but you don't get to apologize do apologize for all the racism that you don't know that you're always always committing. Yeah, and you have to watch a, a person of a race talk down to you like you don't know. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm an adult. <laughs> I think it's just one of those things. I saw. I, I actually I saw Mark Cuban's tweet and I was thinking about it today. It's so stupid. Well, all the reason all this stuff is so stupid is it's like, why? Is the highest good having the same number of white doctors and black doctors? Why is that the best possible scenario we can envision? Yeah. It's like, can you imagine a country where there was an equal number of doctors of every color? Oh, it's like, wow. Why is that your <laughs> utopia? What if there's just a utopia where, you know, more white guys like being doctors and they're pretty good at it? So, or Asian, Asian, uh, Indians, it's Asian. Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Those guys really like Indians. being doctors and they're obviously very good at it. Yeah. And the black guys are really good at rapping and basketball <laughs> and stuff that like white guys can't do. <laughs> so like, why don't you know? You don't see a lot of white guys being like, "Oh man, I can't believe I can't break into the rap." Can you come game. up with another example other than <laughs> rapping and basketball? Black guys are good at owning uh, sneaker stores. Okay. What else are they good Amazing. at? Amazing. I don't know. What is, a, what is a traditional black job? I don't get how you can have systemic racism, yeah. which says fucks up black people, right? And right. women or whatever, you know, because they always treat them the same. And then say, okay, yeah, and we have DEI, like the government's enforced bureaucracy over, over, over all the companies that, ha- that are listed on the stock exchange, overseeing everybody. And you guys have the same pool to pull from. White and black. So just, you know, tilt it a little bit for, you know, like, what about all the systemic racism shit that you're talking about? Doesn't that mean that we don't have the same pool? Uh, we're going to get we're gonna get to that. Yeah. We're, we're, don't worry. By the time you guys start picking, that will have worked itself out. We have a whole bunch of other initiatives for the first part, so we're going to give you a totally equal applicant pool. 
What if all that shit doesn't work? Just do it anyway. Just do it Just anyway. Just do it anyway. Uh, Black people are great singers, you know? Entertainers. Why can't we just You're be making this worse than it is. It's not, but I'm just saying, like, why is that bad? You know? Why isn't that what 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 if we had unequal representation in different professions? Yeah. A lot of people want to be entertainers, but they're not as good at, you know, at dancing and singing. Right. As, you know, other races might be. Yeah. Um The Koreans it. have n- nailed the boy band thing. Well, okay. I should have drank more of that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just do a problem? <laughs> no, you got more stats. Who gives a shit? You got more stats. You gotta sit there talking about b- basketball and K-pop. Well, there's a lot of athletics, you know. Where okay, yeah, yeah, Here, yeah, no, yeah. But, this is like the old Italian uncle version of this. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, it's like I don't understand why, when it comes to like physical abilities, like we get it, right? Yeah. Nobody. This lo- is a liberal problem. So why, like, what do you? You're the liberal guy, right? You guys made this. I didn't make this. But what is what about it can you not answer for? Like you know this is this is like a core of your platform, of the liberal of the liberal platform. Yeah, because liberals got it in their heads that there needs to be an equal number of teachers of every race, an equal number of doctors and whatever else and they can't comprehend the idea that you know like Mexicans are better at gardening than white people. I don't know, whatever. It's like any it's just are they unhappy? It should come down to happiness. Like mm-hmm. nobody's happy. But I'm saying, would you really? Would would any? Would the black community really be happier knowing more of them are doctors? Would that make them happier? I do have a stat for that. Yeah. Uh, black workers say 28 percent are more likely to say their company pays too little attention to increasing DEI. Black so, people say that. Yeah, 28 percent. So a minority right. say we need more of this. So the uh, so so 27 per, or 72 percent. Are fine with it? Fine with it or think it's too much. Probably fine with it. Right. Um, if anything, if I was like a black guy and I got like a cool job, I wouldn't be like, oh man, I, you know, I wish there was more black guys. I'd be like, hey, yeah, I worked really hard to get here. That's awesome. Democrats say focusing on it is a good thing, 78%. Focusing and on it's a bad diversity. thing is 4%. Yeah. And that it's neither good nor bad, 18%. Republicans say 30% focusing on it is a good thing. Getting rid of, like, the tests, that's the biggest thing. What do you mean? The thing that's nuts. When it's like, okay, if you want to be a licensed, you know, whatever, we've made a test. Yeah. Okay? It's a licensing exam. Mm -hmm. You just have to pass this test. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's the same test. We give the same test to everybody. Yeah, it's And then we give the test, and you go, oh, well, not enough, you know, of this type of, not enough Mexicans, not enough Hispanics pass the test. And you got to go, well, we're not going to change the test to make it easier for Hispanics. That's just the test. Yeah. If you can't pass the test, then maybe this is not the right field for you to be in. But instead, again, there's just this weird belief that it's like, well, we got to have more Hispanic. I don't That's know. That's your side, OSHA though, guy. right? It's Why is side. that? Stop with this the is side the defi- shit. This is, the, this is your entire party. This is all you guys talk about is this and defend it is this. Yeah. Why? All you guys talk about is why the election was stolen, why you can't trust any elections, and all election machines are broken forever, and Dominion is run right, by the Jews. Do okay? your, do your do you problem. like that generalization? Do your problem. I, forgot, you I forgot how uncomfortable racial issues make you. It's not do uncomfortable. Your problem. I'm very comfortable. Do your problem. It's You're the one who's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not uncomfortable at all. I'm not white. That's true. My problem, Dick, is uh, it comes from a news story, a recent news story. Mm-hmm. Where uh, you may have heard they're doing a new Star Wars movie. Okay. Starring uh, Daisy Ridley, returning as Rey Skywalker. Can I get the keyboard, by the way? Can I commandeer here? This movie is being directed by a uh, documentary filmmaker, a two time Oscar winner, and a very talented lady named Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy. And wouldn't you know this? Wouldn't you know this? She says. Having an iconic franchise in her hands thrills her. And she says, it's about time a woman took the reins of a project in the Star Wars universe. My problem is... You put me to sleep. First females, Dick. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. The constant need to tell me that a... What web browser you use? Brave? Yeah. The constant need to tell me that it's the first lady to do something. Well, you just use that one. This one? Okay. Yeah, whatever. How do I bring this up on the uh, OBS? <laughs> what are you doing? Hold on. Why did you want? No, 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 no. Uh, 
Why don't you just tell me to type that in? Because you're always fucking up. I want to do it. There we go. What is this brave browser? Are you fucking serious? You won't weigh in for only van vanity reasons. You tanked my problem, and now you have to use the keyboard? But you have no fucking idea how to connect it to OBS. How did I tank your what program? What is your fucking problem? Your problem. What is your... Th this the is my problem. The most low energy my in the pro fucking world. I'm not low energy. Go, go, go. Go ahead. Figure out OBS. <laughs> Shut up. Let's see it. All right. Which one of these is it? The browser? <laughs> Okay, so which browser do I use? It stopped streaming. How did it stop streaming? Uh, what, what do you mean? Why would you not let me do this? What, wait, what happened? What are you uh, talking about? I said hit. That's how you get to it. Oh, no, I'm not going to hit stop streaming. Window capture on the top. Okay. Now, this is way better than me doing it. Okay, and then what? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is good. I think the show, okay, here's the thing. You are a real piece of work. <laughs> Your I'm, obsession with control not, is really showing is really hold on, showing today. Hold on. With the weigh in shit and now this. Go for it. Hold on. Load it up. First I, female. No, no, no. Hold first on. First female astronaut. First female to clim climb Mount Everest. Yeah. We're gonna talk about this. <laughs> I do not have a, a demand for control. If anything, I give you so much control. <laughs> this is episode 122. This is the first time I have said. I think it would be pretty good if I use the web browser for this one time because I have a couple things I want to click through. In 122 episodes, one time, at one time, I asked for the keyboard. You have it's your a own fucking issue. mouse. Yeah, I have my own mouse to do the fucking super chats. I, look, I think it would be good. I think it's good because sometimes, why would I ask you to go through it? Then the show's imbalanced because then you have all the control. Then you're in charge of going to the website. Shouldn't we each have equal access? It's. I think it's working great. Just because you have done it for 121 episodes and I don't immediately know what button to click, you can help me through it. You could be like, guide it. You could be like, oh, well, I've done this 121 times. Why would you times. do that before? Because you needed to know that stuff. Regardless, this is a stupid argument. You're stupid. Point of this question, the point of this problem was that uh, we have this obsession. Can we move on? Are we moving on? We're doing the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about train wrecking my problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You can just search for first female, uh -huh. and you'll literally get probably two dozen news articles every week of a new f of a female doing something. I w I was blown away by how many there are. The Vienna Philharmonic's first female concertmaster. Terrell Parker, first female mayor in history. Uh, first female Premier League referee. Can you believe it? Uh, Australia's first female first. Yeah, they arrested oh, somebody count. at that one. Which one? At the ref one. They arrested yeah, somebody at that game that. for uh, saying a slur. Against her for yeah. being a ref? Yeah, yeah. Well, she just became the first $100 billion woman. Look at this. No, this that's, only... a, that's a trans, I think, a trans woman. Well, that's the th <laughs> that's another part of the problem is uh, some of these first trans, uh, first female stories yeah. end up clicking on it. I always bring up the time it was like the first ever magic female Magic the Gathering champion. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I wonder how she got started. It's like she used to be this male champion. I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't count. I thought it was funny when Zuby did it when he became like the powerlifting yeah. Woman, when he transitioned and then lifted and said, I broke it. But then it got re like really unfunny because, like, conservatives wouldn't stop repeating it. Like, yeah, I remember when you, yeah, like the female, yeah, yeah like you can, you trans. Like, yeah, 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 man. We got it. It just goes on forever. Uh, again, look, we're not even like, uh, well, I guess now it's finally like, finding some old ones, but a history of female first. Here's the thing why is it interesting when a lady does something? Well, who cares? Well, just means that a man did it first. Yeah, but they don't really do anything, so it is kind of like interesting. But we end up, we end up, uh, right, celebrating all these ridiculous things. This is why. See, this is why you don't do the keyboard because you can't pay attention to two things. I can pay attention to two things. I found this one: the first uh, the woman dentist. So if this was a man, this would they would not have a Wikipedia article at all. Because it would well, just they have, have been a, a first dentist, yeah. They have the first m dentist, <laughs> yeah. But like, not just like a guy who was a dentist a hundred years after the invention of dentistry, because that's not interesting at all. No, it's it's a bit interesting. This is not interesting at all. <laughs> yeah, it is. Here's Lucy like, Hobbs. Oh, okay, Taylor. that's kind of. You're interested in Lucy Hobbs Taylor from born in 1833, the first. Yeah, it's woman. weird that a woman would be a dentist <laughs> in 1833. I want to know what made her do that. 
It's like a dog that surfs. Right. Like, huh, most dogs don't do surfing. Most How'd you even <laughs> how did you get that dog? Hold on, to the surf? first dog that surfs, that's interesting because it's a dog. Every dog that surfs is kind of interesting. A woman is just a slightly inferior man. So the fact that they did something Slight, a man maybe could, for you. Yeah, well, the fact that they did something a man could do, but you know, poorly. It's not that interesting. The fact Sure that, it is. Okay, tell me how interesting this woman's life was, okay? Well, she was originally denied admit that's the problem. They make all these movies. Remember that movie they made about all the the first black women to work at NASA or whatever? Oh, that was all fake. Yeah, well that also that's they the were already thing. segregated. Yeah. So she had ran that shit from like the forties. Exactly. So we get these two when are we getting the Lucy Hobbs Taylor movie? She, uh, did you know she was originally denied admittance to the eclectic medical college in Cincinnati, Ohio? Oh, my God. But once again, she applied to the Ohio School of Dentistry. Why are you reading it, like, dismissively? Once again, refused admittance due to her gender. Because this is every one of these mo- movies. That's definitely interesting. This is well, You refused <laughs> because of your gender? Okay. Good. Make, hmm. a, make a league of her own. With uh, dentists? With, with dentists, yeah. A league of their own was a, Oh, you're saying so that's not a good movie? No, it's not a good movie. With it's Tom stupid. Hanks, there's no crime in baseball when he hits that kid in the stomach with a mitt. The only good part of that was that it was a man yelling at women. That was the good part. And I guess That's if, what this entire Wikipedia is. I guess. I don't know. Early life. Early life. Let's see. This is the part we all... <laughs> She's not Let's Jewish. Let's see. No. She was a seamstress. Oh, seventh out of tens. He was Irish. Irish. Wow. An Irish woman. Look at this Wikipedia article. There's nothing interesting happened to this woman other than she tried to go to dentist school and they said no, and then she it's eventually- It's Wikipedia. What do you want? It's not, like, there for your enjoyment. But it shouldn't be here at all. You're supposed to have Wikipedias for, like, notable, interesting people who contributed something meaningful. Vito, what if there was a woman who could drive? <laughs> Would oh, you well. not want to know Look, about there's her? There's a page for the first female dentist in Sweden. Now we got to do it regionally again. This is not important at all. It is Amalia Shore, born 1803, the first female okay, dentist. Okay, so why in is it Sweden? important that a guy went to the moon? Why is that it's important not. at all? That's stupid. So as then well. we shouldn't have that either. No. Like wow, most guys aren't on the moon. Most guys are on Earth. What's that guy doing on the moon? The first guy in space is good. Yuri Gargarin. That guy's important. Neil Armstrong. Bullshit. The moon's meaningless. Why is the first guy in space important? Because it's cool. It's like, oh my god, they put a guy in space? Why is it not cool for a first woman to be- Because there's already dentists. A guy has never been in space before, literally. Since the dawn of 6.5 billion years. Yeah. No guy ever got into space well, before been, that like, guy. Well, they've been, like, close. <coughs> a little bit close. more. What are you talking about? They've been close. It's Climbing a little a bit more than they were at before that. Okay. Who People- gives a shit? He didn't even build the rocket. People have been pulling teeth out of people's mouths since the dawn of time. The first dentist is probably not important, and the first female dentist is definitely not important, and the first female dentist no, in Sweden. Man, you gotta we gotta give them something. Well, that's kind of what it is. Is uh, something to work for? Okay, but there has we gotta give them less less of it. You get like one of these stories a week. It can't be like, well, she's the first female to ever eat a BLT while standing upset. No, okay, we don't care. Who gives a shit? I care. Because it's stupid. Because, it, okay, so like with this Star Wars thing. Just tell them all they're the first. Because I wow, got. you're the first one that got a job here. Good for you. Because I got to see a million fucking news stories about, well, I guess it's finally time. It's finally time that a female dentist made a Star Wars movie. You know? You know what I and love? It's really it. proud. And I'm really. I'm so glad that all of the fucking nerds get their Star Wars ruined again because they're addicted. <laughs> they're addicted to they're Star Wars. Shit on. And just. They want it so bad for it to be good, and I think it's fucking pathetic. Like, yeah. Oh, maybe this is going to be the good Star Wars. Maybe this one will be have Chris Pratt in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a, oh no, it's a woman again. <laughs> oh, man. And they get all angry and fire up their YouTube. Can you believe that Disney put a woman? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I can, because that's like the whole thing that they do now. It's like, what do you get a life? Okay, but here's the thing. If instead, you could make all those people happy. That's what Disney doesn't understand is, like, the last thing anyone wants to hear is it's going to be the first Star Wars directed by a lady. It's like, I don't care. Now, if you said it's the first Star Wars where we see Princess Leia's tits, we'd be like, all right. Well, not the old one, the young one. I don't want any Star Wars fans to ever feel happiness in their lives (laughs) ever. I hope they all only see misery for the rest of their fucking lives. I just think, like, if that lady just came out and was just, like, one of these normal lay. I know there's no normal women, but you ever see, like, those girls? Well, that, that's why that's such a big deal. <laughs> the fucking dentist is a very normal thing. Look at this woman's a fucking dentist. 
whoa, really? Honey, look at this. What if they, but what if she just came, I have this like thing in my mind where like she comes out on stage and instead of going, well, it's finally time to make Star Wars for women. She just said, yeah, this one's going to have like a million, I got an idea. There's going to be like a million lightsabers and a fucking TIE fighter with like 10 TIE fighters stacked on it. And just talked about how like all the cool shit that was going to happen. None of it's cool. Well, the yeah, original but at movies least, aren't cool. None of that shit's cool. cool. It's all <laughs> fucking dumb shit for kids, man. Yeah, so let's just have some ladies make it. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get our first female director. The other thing that's funny is, uh, I don't know if you remember they announced they were making a Rogue Squadron movie with Patty Jenkins, the director yeah. of Wonder Woman. So she was supposed to be the first lady to direct a Star Wars movie, but then she made Wonder Woman 84 and got blacks that listed from Hollywood. So it's like- Because of the well, rape? Yeah. Well, no, because the movie did so badly. Oh. So the only reason you get to be the first female Star Wars director is because the other first female Star Wars director lost money for the Jews who run everything. So you didn't really... <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, the, like, that's the thing about Hollywood is it's like, it's not magical. It's not like, oh my God, we're uplifting women. It's like, no, all the rich guys lost money, so now you get a shot yeah. at the apple. Yeah. At what, at it's what not point this magical, say, empowering at thing. At what point do you say it's me that's the problem? Like, I don't watch Lifetime movies yeah. and, like, throw a fit because there's no, like, shoot-ups and, like, cool masculine characters. Exactly. Right. Right. So why do you watch Star Wars thinking there's going to be, like, something for you. It is a very good point that you wouldn't go into Hallmark and be like, all right, it's about a guy with a machine gun who yeah. terrorizes a small coastal community. They'd go, well, that's not, that's not really what we make. That's not what we do. It's mostly romance. Oh, there's romance in there. I mean, he kidnaps a woman and he brutally uh, sodomizes her. I just think it's not for, I think you for should him, be man. writing something else. And yeah, uh, I don't know if you know this lady. Again, she made it. Her big thing was she made a documentary about all the women in Afghanistan who get uh, acid thrown on their face for being impure. And then <laughs> who's the first one to do that? Who's Ken the first woman to get acid <laughs> thrown on her face? <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy saw that. She said, "I see potential here for Star Wars. I see, I see that woman getting acid splashed on her face." Did I you think, not watch the Panderverse and see the part where Cartman is complaining about uh, Star Wars? Yeah, I get it. Did you not get that part? I'm not complaining about I'm just saying, I don't even care. You call the quartering up and you guys can have a real fucking bitch <laughs> it's fest. It's fine about that she's directing Star Wars. They're just, she's focusing on, they're focusing on the wrong thing. Don't tell me she's the first female to make Star Wars. It's irrelevant. Have her come out and have her say, in this one, Chewbacca's going to have an uh, arm cannon like Mega Man, and there's going to be like two, uh, Darth Vader has traveled through time, and he's merged with Jar Jar Binks, and he's yeah. got uh, fucking lightsabers for hands and whatever. Like, do that. Tell oh, me man, that. man, you know what? I can't wait to hear all the guys like talk about how it bombed at the box office. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it'll do good. I don't know. Oh, I can't wait. I'm always cautiously optimistic. For what? For it to be good. Maybe it'll be good. The corporate conglomerate to <laughs> make some have money. an earnings report well that's kind of the problem with disney these days is there's no magic left in it <laughs> <laughs> didn't it kind of feel like a thing like look walt Dis walt disney was like an obvious businessman mogul or whatever but okay. i don't know i kind of got the feeling that walt disney was like a genuine like our artist leading sure. the company yeah he was a guy who genuinely cared about making good art yeah I never look at, like, Bob Iger and go, yeah, that guy really gives a shit about the latest Pixar movie. Like, he probably doesn't even watch any of that stuff. Yeah. So it feels all, like, soulless. It's like you need artists running the company to make it feel like anything. That's why Nintendo works. It's because you look at all the guys running Nintendo, and it's like, they're guys who made video games. You're like, oh, hey, they're, like, cool guys. I want them to succeed. Yeah. I see Bob Iger, and he goes, well, in the third quarter. You still buy all that shit, though. I don't buy any Disney shit. We saw Indiana Jones together. We made money off that. Well. Yeah, that I was mean, a that was an investment. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm not buying Funko Pops, but if I can flip one, I'll flip one, okay? All right. Uh, and that's the bottom line. First, first females. First female and stuff. I was going to call it First Ladies, but I remembered we don't want any confusing titles. Call on it whatever you want. First females. First Ladies. First Ladies is pretty clever. They're the yeah, first. Yeah, I guess. The yeah. First Disney. First ladies. The first dentist. Can you believe it? Uh, okay. All right, well, you get your keyboard back. I'm so sorry I took control of the show. I mean, it was uh, it was touch and go for a minute. There. I'm gonna get my own keyboard next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have my own Steam Deck. I'm gonna have my own keyboard. I yeah. watched that rewatched that clip where you tried to gaslight me into thinking you can't have two Steam Decks. <laughs> I went, can, I get, my, can I get my worked. own Steam Deck? And you're like, nah. no. 
Um, like, can't you double up on that one? Nah, it's just not going to work, man. This is... Uh, I want to play WATP clips. I want to play Simpsons clips. Are you going to put sounds on it? Yeah. What are you going to put? I caramba! I caramba! I caramba. Uh, my problem is Hustlers Universities, Hustlers I guess you could say. Universities. This is a new one. Sneeko. Mm. Sneeko just Sneeko relaunches his every uh every year or so, every couple of years. Did he have one prior to this? Uh they all kind of do. Um I've been told that this is a very possibly just a pyramid scheme, like not even a like uh, sneaky one. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, didn't Dr. K run one of those? I don't know. I think my problem is that uh um young men as if they didn't have enough to deal with from Lady Star Wars. Lady Star Wars yep. and women dentists yep. and the government taking their jobs, yep. giving it to women. Yep. Uh, they also have to deal with uh, friendly fire and sabotage coming from their own, coming from inside the house. Yeah. In the form of these uh, shitbag hucksters making uh, pyramid schemes for them to dump money into, promising them uh, a life of uh, a life of uh, laziness. Yeah. And a life of permanent uh, joblessness. <laughs> complacency. And, and complacency yeah. and inactivity. Ironically called active income with a little circle around it. Didn't Sneeko get banned from YouTube? Yes, he should be banned from uh, the planet. It's just funny that he has all these YouTube play buttons hanging up. Like, <laughs> ah, and here's how I, <laughs> here's how I made my up. millions. Yeah, yeah uh, the only, there's a lot of people who run this. Andrew Tate runs one, too. They're all... Scams. A certain obviously. gentleman with his Mac Club, which has transferred. Oh yes, Eric Big July Cat. also has one. Yeah, pay a hundred bucks, and that's the secret you get to, to uh, my insider knowledge. It's really fucking infuriating. I'm sp- you actually forgot that. I he forgot had one. that fuck bag has. Yeah. There's like a template of con artist that is churning out. These seemingly millionaires, but I don't know if they are. They probably are because like there's I said, so many all suckers. this information, all these people are faking. Like Sneeko's got some money, you know, he's probably doing very well, but he's gonna. Like I think part of this is he says, you know, we have a network of millionaires who are gonna coach you and whatever else, and it's like, shut the fuck up, no, you don't. Yeah, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Man? <laughs> I got a network of... That's what millionaires, they wake up and go like, where's my I can't wait to coach all these kids on YouTube. <sighs> I can't wait to coach this retard that paid $50 to be in a Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Let me call you up. You're all going to be millionaires Hold on. Like I've got to make my smoothie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these people are selling a lifestyle that is as corrosive to the male identity as feminism or any ism on women's yeah. side is to them, and I'm sickened by it, and I hate them. We should offer the counterpoint of this. Give us $100 a month, and we will tell you that it's not going to get any better, and you're just kind of stuck where you are right now. We could give Tony Robbins-style <laughs> presentation. Hey, everybody. Hey. Repeat after me. Nothing good's going to happen to you. Nothing. You. You. You right there. You think you got any dreams? You got any aspirations? Yes. Throw them out. They're bullshit. Raise your hand if you've got dreams. That's too much work. <laughs> Lesson number one, if you raise your hand, you're a fucking idiot. Because yeah. this is not interactive. <laughs> this is me talking to you. You should not be participating in this at all. If you have the idea that you go to a show and you're supposed to participate, you're a fucking moron. You will fall for anything. Isn't there a comedian who has a bit about demotivational speakers? Probably. That's from something. I want to do that. Unlock your full potential, it says. Give up now. It's so easy. Go play Fortnite. It doesn't matter. How come I can't? Just wait for your parents to die, and then you get the basement for free. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Like like acceler- selling this so it's always shit. about mo- a big part New of it. New wealth accelerator. Active income is shifting the paradigm of how to really generate online wealth in 2020. How do you look send at Send them sne- to fucking yeah. prison. Just send them to prison. Send yeah. a dog catcher out. To put Sneeko's head in a little garrote on a PVC pipe yeah. and throw him in Guantanamo Bay for this shit. How I do you fucking look, hate how it. How do you look at a guy like Sneeko and go, I want this guy to advise me on how to make millions of dollars? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because whatever money I want he- a guy that has two joints in his neck. Right. 
uh, th- whatever money Sneeko has made, it is not made on the back of his brilliant business acumen. It has been made on the fact that he's made a public s- s- horrific spectacle. I want himself. Andrew Tate's Robin yeah. to give me <laughs> advice on how to live my fucking life. <laughs> Once you've chosen your path, active income takes you from zero dollars to a full time freedom income oh. online without hundreds of hours of content. Uh, y- you know? Yeah. How is this? Al- how is nothing that I want to do allowed? But everything that these fuckbags want to do is a okay. Throw up a big purple website, promise people millions of dollars, put your big stupid face all over it. Can I do? Uh, can I do a bump? No, that's illegal. You go straight to prison. I for need that. someone who has uh, accessed this uh, material to just post it online so I can see what advice Sneeko's hundred million dollar mentors <laughs> are giving these fucking basement Let's dwelling what, chuds uh, in his Discord. This is the example of a conversation you'll have with a hundred oh hundred okay. million dollar mentor. Fantastic. Is the mentor in blue uh, or, no, or white? That would be you. White yeah blue. white is gonna be the mentor. So the mentor the I'll, be the, I'll be the mentor here. Now keep in mind you're a hundred millionaire. Yeah. So I'll speak uh, authoritatively. <laughs> well you know just just letting the audience know. Mikey, how are those product tests going? Oh, they're going good, but having trouble knowing when to kill ad sets. Oh, I hear you, kid. That's a very important billionaire. Of course I hear. There's a few ways we can go about this. Let's get on a quick Zoom so I can see your data and run you through this. Perfect, bro. Thanks. Send the link and I'll hop on now. Okay, yeah. They're going to get on a Zoom call with some kid in Not his a underwear. Zoom call, a Zoom. <laughs> they got to brief everything because they're making so much cash. So you're telling me I signed up for this and then me sitting in my underwear in the Midwest somewhere dreaming of internet stardom. I get on a Zoom call with a millionaire and he tells me about my data lists or whatever the fuck. Yeah, you got to know when to kill your ads. You got to know when to kill your ads, bro. <laughs> Implying that you're making so much money. Not to mention there's like a million YouTube videos about how to make do all this shit that are free and also don't work. Yeah, none of this is none of this, none works. Of this works. There's no business here. No. I was watching a bunch of videos this week trying to figure out how to make YouTube shorts like catch on. I'm like, this is all just a scam. Lies. It's all yeah. just lies. One on one success coach. The reason you feel stuck in life is not because you're lazy or stupid, it's because <laughs> no one holds you accountable. <laughs> Inside active income, you have the same minded people on the same path. But in addition to the community and 100 million mentors, everyone who signs up during the launch week will get assigned a one on one success coach for maximum accountability. Accountability buddies. Yeah, dude. A Sneeko membership. I want a success coach. Sneeko, the retard creator of Active Income, went from a broke Uber Eats delivery boy to a self-made multi-millionaire after connecting with the world's most influential people. Like who? Nick Fuentes? <laughs> I don't know if he's the most influential people. Not only who is does he... Sneeko hang out with? Andrew Tate? And... Who fucking knows? Oh, my God. Not only is he teaching three world exclusive... I hope that Andrew Tate goes to prison in Romania and yeah. brings... And brings a good chunk of these fuckers down with them. I hope somebody records Sneeko's three world exclusive masterclass is <laughs> sick <and> a- <laughs> on the active income mindset. Is it drop shipping? Is that what you do? You yeah, drop ship and run drop ads shipping. on drop shipping? Do you buy sneakers when they go on sale and flip them <laughs> on eBay? Personal brand mastery and high level networking. What the fuck is that? I've tried these get rich quick scheme of things. I've gone on, yeah, uh, yeah what you, uh, is it fat? No. There's there's a drop shipping guy and I had to pay like 200 bucks a month to be in his group. Oh really? Yeah, and then it, but then it would just be like, "Hey, everybody go buy uh pool chlorine from Costco this week." <laughs> What do you do with it? <laughs> you oh, just that's <laughs> the nicest thing. Oh. No problem. And the then big I realized, yellow containers. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like. 40 gallons? I'm sure. like, I'm paying $200 a month for a guy to tell me to go buy pool chlorine and flip it. What did you it. do with it? You flip it for like 50 bucks a bucket when <laughs> summer starts. Like, that was the point. It's sitting on. And you're like, once summer gets here, there's going to be a big chlorine shortage. And the guys are like, oh, man, I made 200 bucks. And I'm like, well, that pays for your fucking Is it a Timothy McVeigh? Uh I don't know, man. I just realized I didn't want to drive around. People were like, oh, I went to 15 Costco's today buying chlorine. And I'm like, you know, I don't think this is the life I want to lead. I think there's better <laughs> ways to make money than flipping pool chlorine. Uh, and high level, But you will be able to pick his brain on any topic with consistent calls if you sign up during launch. Oh, wow. You it's get so access predatory. to Sneeko. I guess it's just like the Eric July thing. Yeah. 
Eric July will think of you as a Mac and his own personal. You get access to special Q and A. See, if Maddox wasn't a fucking idiot, he should be charging for Q and A access. Well, he tried. He put a thousand bucks on his Patreon. What is his goal? No, as like a special donor. You can be his special friend if you give him a thousand bucks. He's had that forever. Yeah, he put it up as a joke. Yeah, but it's not one of those written jokes like a that you joke. Hope for. Yeah, financial freedom awaits inside the. Wow. Well. well. Oh, it's only 20 bucks a month, 50 well, bucks a month. The wealth. Well, you got to get the wealth. If access. you want a mindset, it's 20 bucks. Okay. If you want a money, it's 50 <laughs> bucks. If you want wealth. Wait, 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 wait. Go up a little bit. So that one, you get crypto literacy. But if you go down to wealth, you get crypto mastery. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. So you, you're pumping and dumping crypto <laughs> and to the middle guys. I don't want to just guys. be literate in crypto. I want to be a master of crypto. I'd be a fool. To not give this man $100 a month. You're buying it at the mastery level and then telling the money people to dump all their money yeah. in. <laughs> exactly. And at then the, selling at it. At the $50 a, a month tier, they go, hey, buy gum coin. Buy a bajillion gum coin. Yeah, and yeah, at the, cool. And at the $100 million tier, Did you Did you go, guys buy some? Hey, all these yeah. morons are going to buy <laughs> gum coin. Well, it's it's, it's got to be a pyramid scheme. It's all a pyramid scheme. It's, it's so scummy. What if I'm interested in passive income? Go buy a rent. Okay, buy a rental property. That's it. There is no about that anymore. Well, I guess now California. not in California, not in California, but anywhere else. Yeah. Buy a buy. Do you like all the you watch the YouTube. Kind of hard to buy a rental property. It's well, a lot of money. It's better than uh, you Drop know shipping chlorine. Yeah, save you know? up for a fucking uh, rental property rather than giving a hundred dollars a month away to a guy who's going <laughs> to give you crypto mastery. Okay, yeah. like if you want to generate wealth and income. You got to come up with a biz, like a legitimate business plan. You can't look at Sneeko and go, "Well, I'll just run around with a camera and act like an idiot and hang out with white supremacists and rapists, and eventually I will stumble into money that way." It's not a viable business plan. Uh, we I hate need- that they exist. No. I hate that these guys run them and they don't get they don't get enough shit for them. I hate that our top tier is ten dollars a month. We need to, we need to talk about that. Up. What do you want to give? Well, we don't even live. We don't even do enough bonus episodes. We do enough bonus episodes. I think we're behind. We are behind. Well, we're not behind because we don't. There's no pro. Well, <laughs> we're watching the we're watching the scam brain at work right now. We did pretty good last year. We did okay. We missed a couple bonus episodes. It's not missing it because they're not monthly strictly. Well, they are. And we did little. We did little bonus content. We put up movie reviews. That was a special bonus content or whatever. It wasn't exclusive to the tiers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, we can do more. We could we could do more exclusive content, but just a it's bonus a, episode. That's what they want. We'll do the bonus episode. Yeah, we should have something. Uh, oh man, what's Carl's tears? Who cares? No, because like, all right, here's what drives me nuts. Carl pro- broadcasts all the time. Like he always fulfills obligations. Sure. Okay, we should fulfill our obligations, and we do. And we have a new bonus that we're going to do the bonus episode. Biggest problem in 2023. Okay, yeah. Are we recording that this weekend? Yeah, we we'll like, do that this week. All right, maybe maybe something like Monday I'll come by. Uh, I look at these other podcasts that suck. Right. You know, they have less fans than us. Okay. You know, the guys on the shows are not funny. Okay. Unlike us, who are both hilarious in, in many different ways. Uh-huh. But they're making more money than us because they do, like, stupid fucking tears of like, ooh, well, if you give us $25 a month, we'll do like a dupe do where I get, uh, I wear a dress and he jumps around. And then we, I'm I not doing know. that. I know we're not doing that, but like, there's something we could figure out. I don't, you really want to make milk more money I, out it, of it? I the... feel it's not milking. It's that I hate these other guys <laughs> and I'm mad they're making more money than Well, me. you got to have a bigger audience then. I know. I know. I still think what about your be... comic? What about that? That's good. Okay. I'm glad you're right. That is a good way to monetize. Yeah. I just think this show. Okay, I think this show. You want to join Sneeko's thing and get some advice? I think get one on one time with multi. Maybe he can. Maybe he can illustrate me. Maybe maybe Sneeko has some ideas. Okay. I think this show has the potential to be one of the best. Yeah. One of the best. We got a good show. We got a good rapport. It's okay. <laughs> He's better problems. All right, never mind. I mean, it's uh, it is. <laughs> It's okay. It could be better. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, sometimes it's like touch and go. 
Okay. Well, are you really criticizing me? It's because I touched no, the keyboard. No, I'm not isn't saying it? you. It's I'm I touched just the saying keyboard. sometimes it, down on it me. just seems like some sh- times. Because I don't weigh in and I touch the keyboard. Well, I've the ruined the show. Weighing in is part of it. Okay. Well, I will. Okay. How about this? I'll bring back the weigh ins if we get it back over whatever 2,000 paid members. All right. Because the numbers are. What are we at? We're at 1,900. We, we haven't dropped, but they changed the way they calculate the number of members. We got to attack somebody. We have- <laughs> That's how you make money in radio. You yeah. have to attack other audiences. I know. We've attacked Eric. We've milked. We've milked Eric. We got away from the fu- when Yara comes out. When it's Yara be comes all out, we're gonna hit hard. Sasuke, Me Too sisters, the Me Too sisters, man. Yeah, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit Yara. The trans kids sisters. But here's the thing: is they're liberal trans loving ladies. So I'm like, oh shit, that comic might actually be good. Who cares? I'll see. I want to, uh, I'll talk to you later about some ideas I have. What do you mean? What kind of ideas do you have? No, 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 no. I just don't want to lock in anything and then people be disappointed that we didn't do it, you know? Well, wh- like what? Oh, like I got a movie. Re- I think we should do a movie review, another movie review. That would be good. Yeah, but that's free. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. But then it feels bad because we- Yeah, you can't charge people 10 bucks for movie reviews. Yeah, also, I don't think it would make sense to do that. But No, that'd be weird. Look, we don't have a lot to, of time, too. We don't have to make another tier. Again, yeah. it just drives me nuts when guys I hate have shittier podcasts with less people, but they're getting that fucking money. Nah. And then the money, you know what I also want? Again, I'm just getting ahead of myself. I want to fly, like, guests in. Oh, Christ. Not, like, I all can. the time. Well, if it was, like, a really good guest, like a celebrity, you get them a plane ticket like Tim Pool does. You we're know, not Tim Pool though. He makes I, millions of dollars. I know. Well, if we were making like a good amount though, we could be yeah. like, hey, we could reach out to a guy who we really thought the and day pay, who is worth twelve hundred dollars to Destiny. fly in. No, twelve hundred dollars. Did you see the Destiny episode? Is our most viewed episode of the year? It was like one hundred twenty thousand views. Yeah, but he's here like every once in a while. I know. While. So we didn't get even him, answer our last. We get email. him for free, which is great. <laughs> he doesn't know. Why do you want to fly in? I'm just saying, like, there's probably guys like him that we could get. This time, when I started my show, guys who were helping and then later melted down and hate me mm-hmm. were like, yeah, you got to fly people in. I don't know why Dick's not flying people in. You got to fly guests in if you want to have guests. I get it. And there's a lot of people in L.A. that we can draw from anyway. Yeah. But everybody in L.A. hates us. So we kind of have to find rubes and morons who don't know. I don't think know they that get we're... better outside of L.A. <laughs> Yeah, but they haven't heard all the horrible things. Who do you want to fly in? Done. Just who, who are you thinking? I don't know. I would have to. I'd have to think about it. To tell me Tanaka, I would pay twelve hundred bucks. To tell me Tanaka would be good. She was in L.A. I hit her. I messaged her on Instagram, drunk, yeah. and it said, "You're not allowed to send." Maybe we could get like a real uh, ringer, like a, a guy like a Tony from Hack the Movies. That could be big. Did he put you up to this? <laughs> no, I'm not. To paying. pay for? We're it. not paying for Tony's plane ride. Tony, I'll get you a hotel room for the night if you come on out. How's that? Put up, I'll put up the money for Tony from Hack the Movies. Oh, uh, is there a limit on? Is there a spending cap on that room? He's not getting a nice room. Like a hundred, give him like a hundred twenty bucks. Oh, oh <laughs> bed bug ridden. One hundred and twenty dollars. You get a decent Where? hotel room for one hundred twenty bucks. No, you can't. In my neighborhood, you could you sleep can. in one of those RVs down the street for me. That's mom parked came. there. My mom came. She got a great deal on a hotel. Oh, poor mom. One hundred and twenty bucks. Here's is here's a pitch. Biggest problem goes to Japan. You in? <laughs> No. Are you in? No. You know what? Because of the tsunami right now, I'm giving away the plot. Right now, plane tickets round trip to Japan out of LAX. What do you mean you're giving it away? Like, it's going to They're going to the sell deals? out. They're going to sell out. This is Vito's uh, <laughs> travel tips. Because of the tsunami, 500 bucks round trip right now. What? 500 bucks. Let's go. Yeah. You want to? I got to check, you know. In fe- uh, Starting in February, fucking... it's 500 bucks round trip to Japan. What the fuck? Yeah, because- What airline? Uh, Delta good or something. One? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, they're dirt cheap. I all right. I, I honestly, I saw that and I went, "Fuck, I should really go to Japan," but I would have to figure out when and how and whatever. Yeah, that's what I got. Biggest problem goes to Japan. Let's do it. I don't know about biggest problem goes to Japan. We could film a little stuff. Okay, we could film stuff. Yeah, yeah. just like we don't have to do it. And we're turning into Sneeko though. I don't know. We just go to we an arcade have a wealth and we go, you know, we go to a Japanese point. Well, you're not supposed to film in any of these places, but we go, whoa. Is that good content? No. None of this is good content. Well, then why do you want to do it? <laughs> I, I wouldn't watch that. No, look you- at me. I'm getting a beer out of a vending machine. Whoa. That's like shit I don't even post to Instagram. Did you ever see when Tom Green went to Japan? No. That was one of the funniest things I ever saw. If you never saw... Uh, Tom Green's Japan special. You can do. You can film some funny stuff in Japan. I think like writing stuff and making written stuff like that 
that thing I wrote that for Blade film. Runner that yeah. you said is not good enough to film. That's good enough. That's good. I I apologize to you in a text. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It I wasn't ha- that funny. Well, not that, but like I do think. Yeah, we got to film more stuff. And I'm making the Written clips. stuff, though. Not this, like, hey, I'm walking around. I'm like, oh. People like the walking around shit, though. Oh, it sucks. It depends on where you go. It depends on, you got to go for, like, a do thing. Do you watch that stuff? Depends on what it is. All right. We should do what jo- what uh, Ryan Long is doing. Just these, like, quick little. Interviews? Well, no, not just that, but he does bits that are, like, written. Sketches, but he yeah, they on- He makes a character, and then he goes out on the street, and he they're, is yeah. the character. Yeah. It's like kind of Eric Andre is. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, that's that's did funny. You see his what video he does re- is did funny. you see his video recently where he's uh, Bam Margera's uh, yeah, homeless brother? Funny. See, yeah. that was really that's good. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Written. I'm Larry Margera, and this is Searching the Trash for Food. And he just keeps interspicing with how he was kicked out you of the You want to do like Bam Margera's Big stuff. Brother? We could do? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Hey, I'm um, Slam Margera. All I'm saying is... You and I've completely comp- no, it's not that. I've completely <laughs> derailed the show. You got to make your comic though. The comic is it's going very good. The comic's going very good. Uh, I just I really like the show. The right. audience is great. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to find ways to get people to find out about the show. Or I'm doing again. The Ryan Long videos would be a, it's a good idea. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. If we did like videos and it's like, hey, these guys are funny. Oh, they have a podcast. That, yeah. They're they're killing it. Ryan Long and uh, Danny Polishik. They're both. Yeah. They're, they're selling out fucking stand up shows and whatever else. They're doing great. They're better than us. Yeah. And I'm sitting here talking about lady dentists. <laughs> well, I- and uh, watching Sneeko make billions of dollars. So what am I Sneeko doing sucks, wrong? Sneeko though. I, I, I don't want to be Sneeko. I don't want to be Sneeko. All right. What's your problem? My problem is hour long TV shows. Dick. What happened to TV? It used to be you popped it on. You watched a fun little episode. It was it. A little slice yeah. of entertainment. I was trying to watch Loki. Which I uh, like. I like the premise of Loki. I like Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. But I'm watching that Jonathan Majors woman beater just running around oh, come going, on. Well, well, that's what he did, apparently. Whatever. I don't I'm not judging him for it. I'm just saying. <sighs> yeah. I'm watching him run around like, ooh, it's a time travel. There's time travel. And then there's like a there's a scene of him talking to a lady. I'm like, okay, well, at least, you know, they got got the exposition out of the way. He talks to the lady, and then we're going to move on. And then it goes to him on a boat with the lady, and they have another scene where he's talking to this lady. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess you need a little more exposition. And then he goes to another location, and and the lady comes in, and they have another talk. And I'm like, it's just, it's the same scene three times. You could have cut this down to one scene. This whole show could be 30 minutes. Oh, I see. It's it's too much shit. Yeah. Because the... The writers are lazy. It used to be TV. Yeah. It was, you got eight minutes and then it's a commercial break, so figure it out. They got no commercials, though. They got no commercials, so there's no- It's just endless. It's just endless. It's just There's nothing to rein these people TV. in. So they're just making bad movies that are 10 hours long. They should let a woman suck. do it. Well, maybe they'll get the first woman to figure out the formula and make it not suck. Yeah. It's the problem with that Mandalorian show. I was trying to watch that Mandalorian show. It just goes on fucking forever. Man, you got to stop watching this shit. Well, what do it's I watch? It's all crap. The only thing I like is like, uh, uh, what do you call it? I think you should leave because that it's like five minutes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even have to watch the whole thing. Watch it again. Yeah, and I'll, I will watch it again. Why don't you watch old quick. stuff? I will, that's, that's the problem, is I just end up watching reruns of, like, The Office and 30 Rock. And oh, then I feel not like The Office. A stunted child. Cause that's, <laughs> you watching The Office? You're on that dirty stuff? I watch The Office. No, nah, you can't watch The probably, Office ever again. I've probably watched every episode about 100 times at this point. Oh, no. What about the one where Jim goes... <laughs> that's my favorite one. How about that one? That's my favorite one. Or the one and where Pam goes... Or the one where Dwight goes... Or the one where Kevin is retarded. He's the worst boss, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's a really bad boss. All right, the reason the Michael op- Scott, that's his name. Here's the thing about The Office is like once you know every episode, you just put it on in the background because you don't get lost, you know? Like even if you tune out he for five minutes. so bad. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. like it's just like noise. Yeah. It's like putting on a song for the 5,000th time. Yeah. No. What about that one where Stanley's everyone is uh, uncomfortable that he's black? See, have you watched The Office? Like seriously, yeah, I've never one. I've never watched one. It's episode. a genuinely good show. <laughs> I don't care. It has some very <laughs> good jokes. They're possible. I, I wanted to make a video of my top ten Office jokes, but I, I think it would get copyright claimed. There's some legitimately good writing on that show. Uh, what if it was Mindy an hour? Kaling, who we all oh. love. <laughs> oh God, Mindy Kaling. One of Mindy so Kaling's uh, Office anecdotes is that she tried to stop. 
one of the most uh, famous visual gags Chili. on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Her anecdote is, I fought really hard to get that canned. And you're like, oh, oh you dumb bitch. Everybody, loves, right everybody there. wants to see a fat guy rolling around in chili. What are you, an idiot? Yeah. Point is, hour-long TV shows, TV shows just keep getting longer and longer. Every time I try to watch, I, I go like, oh, like this sounds good. And it's well shot. Loki looks good. It's got a, what do you call it, Owen Wilson, who's great. Man, it's just like shitty comic book Disney shit, though. Well, all t- well, what, what, what TV shows are you watching? Nothing. Well, that's the problem. I don't watch any of this shit. But don't shouldn't we be living in a golden age of TV where there should be like really good? The boys is okay. No, because there's no commercials. Invincibles. Really you can't good. have. You cannot have good television if without commercials. Yeah, without. Well, he need. breaks. No, you cannot have. You cannot make good art if you don't need people to see it. Hmm. And they right. don't because they're just relying on stock prices. Right. So they say, here's a bunch of headlines of the first. Fucking uh, female uh, uh, robot. Female Yoda. Yeah, that yeah. we got. Get a bunch of headlines. Stock goes boop, boop, boop. Oh, no, it's all the Chinese shit. Mm. Here's the Expendables 4. Oh, this is uh, with all the American action movies. Yeah, ex- except it's a Chinese movie now. Yeah. With Jason Statham, who's in China for some Apparently reason. Apparently, the Chinese are saving that Aquaman movie from being a complete disaster. I don't want to watch Chinese TV, so I don't watch Netflix or any of that shit I anymore. I have some stock in a. Whatever the Chinese Netflix is. We should stock race this year. We should stock race. I was doing real good last year. Let's see. Let's do it. Do you have any stocks? You buy uh, buy back any stock? Uh, only VOO. Uh, that's which one? The VIX? Index fund. Is that's that it. It's not a VIX. It's okay. just an index fund. But what is it an index it. of? Uh, the Dow Jones. Okay. That's it. It's pretty safe. Put, put your stuff up against that. <laughs> yeah, all my all Let's my see. little. Uh, Let's do a thousand bucks. We got a you got a thousand bucks. So I got a thousand bucks. And I'll VOO. do that. I'll do the thousand dollar. So you put a thousand dollars V O O. I get a thousand dollars or whatever I want. Whoever well, wins. Well, you have a thousand bucks, so you do whatever you want. Yeah. And then say what you're doing. Well, I got to announce what it is. You yeah. Know, I'm gonna I put eight. I'm gonna put eight hundred bucks in V O O, and I'm gonna put two hundred bucks in uh, uh, T bills. T bills. <laughs> At five what and are T bills at? Are they five and a half? No, Something they're not. Like they're that. like three point eight. No, T bills are at f- over five. The month ones are. Mm. All I know, Dick, is uh. I want to see seventeen minute shows. I want to go. I'm gonna ask Sneeko what stocks to buy. Yeah, well, he's gonna tell me which crypto to buy. Buy Google Google Coin. Yeah. Buy Sneeko Coin. How are your NFT investments doing? Oh, they're not investments. <laughs> So they're doing great. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> they're n- no, they're not. All because right. they're worth nothing. I know. NFTs are not worth anything. Oh, is that what you got to say? So the FTC <laughs> doesn't take them all away? No, I'm saying <laughs> NFTs are not investments. Don't invest in them. Uh, okay. Right, I hear what you're really saying. What are your problems? <laughs> uh, my problems hour are... Long. What about House, though? That was an hour-long show. I haven't had commercial breaks where, like, they had to write it. 44-minute show. It needs a structure. It needs an act structure. All hour-long shows have four act structures. I promise you. Go watch your whatever. Loki. Jack jokey. off. Lo- yeah, Loki show. Was House really? It wasn't an hour, though. It was 45 minutes. It's an hour-long show. With commercial breaks. Yeah. 40, so 45, 45 minutes. minutes. These yeah. shows are actually, like, an hour long. That's No, they're not. Dude, I swear to God, I was watching the new Loki episode, and I was like, man, this is going on for a while. And I It's checked. an a- actual hour? I think it's, like, an actual hour. Well, that's why they're horrible, then. That's what I'm 45 saying! 45 minutes, tops. 45 minutes, 22 tops. minutes, 45 minutes. I'll settle for 30. Okay, hour-long TV hour-long shows. Hour-long TV shows and first females. <laughs> first females. Mine's DEI. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, Hustlers. Hustlers, Hustlers University. University. Hustlers. University. Okay. And okay. our new biggest problem, $100 tier, Vito will give you the stock tips you deserve. Wait, do I have that? Stock tip, Vito? Uh, fuck, I guess I don't. Dang it. I All barely right. beat the S&P last year. I think, <laughs> so. No, I did, I did better than the S&P. No, you didn't. I think you I did. You liar. No, you I didn't. Did. No, you fucking did not. Show me. Uh, if I'm if my calculations are correct, they're not. Shut up. Let me see what the S and P did. Uh, let me see if I have some music for this. The S and P was up twenty two percent. You did better than twenty two percent last yes. year. Yes. No fucking way. Based on cash, I actually invested. So the cash I left uninvested 
if I had invested in the S and P, I would have. I'll say it again. So some of that cash I had just earning five percent. Okay. Instead of invested in the S and P. Okay. But all the money I had in stocks. Well, yeah. Did better than twenty two percent. No way. Yeah. What did you What did you put it in? Uh, Nvidia. Okay. Uh, Palantir. What else did you get? What do you mean? What, like, were, your, what were your losers? Uh, I can find my losers. Hold on. Total return. Uh, it was uh, one of the one of the solar stocks. Uh, C Limited. Okay. Teladoc Health. That was a loser. Mm. Chewy. Because they're horrible. Teladoc is horrible. They're fucking horrible. Yeah. I just really I want to reach through the screen and strangle those fucking. Doctors. I really think telehealth. Like I'm 100 percent convinced that we live in a nation of. Everyone's developing autism and they're terrified of interacting with actual human beings. So anything that removes the need to go to a place and interact with another human being face to face, yeah, is like I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a no, thing. No, I I uh, so but I love the idea, but they're executing they need it to badly. say here it, there needs to be another one that says like telephone doctor that says hey here at telephone doctor we will never tell you to take Advil. Yeah. We'll never, ever say, just take Advil. If we're not going to give you drugs, we'll just hang up and send you a bill for 20 bucks. There you go. Uh, okay. I think if you're getting stocks, AI stocks, and anything where this generation of autistic weirdos can avoid interacting with an actual human being. So uh -huh. any online shopping, anything that uh, DoorDash, the ability to get food without even talking to another human being. Is this the, tr the trend that you're... So that you this see, is my this is my stock belief. Is this from like the like two thousand three? This is based on my own personal experience as a shut in who does not want to talk to anybody. I okay. go, wait, I don't have to actually go to the fucking doctor's office and wear a mask. They made me wear a mask at the doctor's office. Did you see California brought back the mask mandate for inside doctor's offices? Yeah, they're gonna bring the whole thing back. I'm so pissed. Did you were you pissed the first time? Yeah. Okay. I hated. That's good. I hated the mask shit. Especially because the, the data for masks makes no sense. Unless you're using like a, a hardcore like N95 mask, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like, they're useless. Even that one. All right. Now the go. N95 has actual data. All right. Hey, Dick. It's uh, me, Fire Missionary. I was wondering um, if you guys would be willing to put some money in towards uh, having a furry do a full body hair transplant so that they can actually be a furry. Uh, that oh. might be something you might be interested in. Like the Wolf Man? Maybe it'll be funny. Well, it would definitely be funny. But anyway, so going to do it. Uh, I was wondering if that might be something you'd be interested in. How? Anyway, would that work? have a good one. Go fuck you yourself, and I love you, Sean. And uh, Vito. Hair transplants uh, all over. I would have said uh, congratulations on the weight loss. Shut up. Even though you actually gained twenty pounds at two ninety, I didn't so. gain twenty pounds. You are not at no two ninety. Really need to like, get on that. You're anyway, gonna need to take a picture uh, with a going, newspaper guys? next time you do that. Next time I take a furry one, with, with a hair implants all over. But the Is hair that... implants have to be harvested from another part of your body. You can get some other people round it up. No, your body would reject it. Oh, so you'd have to take line. You would have to like basically take the hair and space it out evenly. It would be my okay. That's funny. Yeah, but you wouldn't be like super hairy. You'd be like <laughs> like weirdly spaced hair all over your body, guy. Huh, okay. I don't think you can get hair. What about just like I don't think you can get hair strength. grafts from someone else. I could No, you can't. Cuz they always whenever they do the hair transplants, it's always they take it from like either the back of your head and put it on top. Yeah. Well, who wants to give up their hair though? What are you doing? What, uh, oh, I thought you were looking <laughs> for I'm something. Just shifting, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, if that's an actual thing, then uh, I'm I'm surprised. Uh, okay, here we go. The biggest problem in the universe is air quote free furniture. Free furniture. See if you can guess the uh, ethnicity of the person who's helping me out right now by giving me some free patio furniture. White. Well, it was free, and then you know. <laughs> He's like, oh, you have to pick it up today. I'm like, okay, I don't have a truck. Black. So I call my friend who has a truck, and he's like, Why are you looking yeah, for furniture if you don't have a over. fucking truck? Come help you out. It's New Year's Day, by the way, right? And you called your friend on New Year's Day to pick up so furniture? you didn't have to pay for furniture, you piece of shit. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? 
Hey, you know that truck that you have and you own? Yeah. Uh, I'll buy you a six pack if I could. If I could just borrow it a little bit, that's no big deal for you, right? That should be a problem for you. Do you get a lot of people asking to borrow your Not truck? Not anymore. Oh, you used to though. Oh God. Um, I think I did ask. Did I ever ask you to borrow your truck like one time? I think one time. Maybe for like a pinball machine. Yeah. yeah. I was trying. Well, because my car was broken and there was a guy who had a Neo Geo machine. Oh, yeah. And I was like, fuck, that's such a good deal, but my car is broken. I can't go get it. I was like, hey, Dick, you want to go pick up a fucking no. Neo Geo? And you're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I can get some free furniture. I guess this, this is okay. And then, like, I confirm with the guy who's getting to me and he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, can I get a hundred bucks from it? And I'm like, okay, so you this furniture that you have to get rid of because you moved and the new place there's no space for it. Ah, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Uh, Craigslist complainers. Craigslist Vote complainers. It up. That's a good one. There you go. Vito, about 15 years ago, I dated a Jew who went to Smith College, and they're not all lesbians. They're all just horny bisexual whores. Mm. And uh, if you didn't get laid living next to Smith College, you're you fucked up, dude. What did I say to get laid? Uh, you fucked up. I never she told me all that. these stories. Of she, she and her girlfriend, her roommate, would just go to the library, find some lonely fucking faggot looking dude like you, oh, and just take him home. All right, all right, all right. What are you thinking? <laughs> I can't say that. Jesus Christ. Disavow. Uh, I mean, buddy, it, what yeah. is fucking going on here? You know exactly where the show is, you've watched it before. Everybody's uh, everybody's just kind of living in a new era, you know. All the uh, all the rules have gone out the get window. Get a fucking clue, okay? Uh, here's one about the head stuff. Yeah. So, seep them. You haven't heard of head putty before? Head putty. I used to have awesome long hair too, like you. So you got to get one of those clicker pens and unclick it. So unclicks no pen, clicks pen, unclick it, and just reach through here and scratch your scalp with it. And then get a good scratch, like get a good line. Yeah. Pull it out, click the pen, and look at the little putty ball. Oh, okay. If you're a Mario completionist mentality, I think you're going to be a big fan. Wait, what? Peace. So, like, you know how, like, you get that, like, I would think you would use, like, a mechanical pen. Well, I guess a mechanical pencil is not wide enough. But as you scoop up all the gunk in the pen, yeah. and you click it, it comes out as, like, a tube, you know? Oh. <sighs> You get it though. Everybody get you just if you scratch the top of your head and like under your fingernails, you get that white stuff. I just washed my hair. Yeah. Um you still got sepum in there now. Okay. Uh here we go. So there actually is a place you can go to get like verified underwear online. It's called sniffer.com. And uh oh, they verify <laughs> it. you have to like they have to show their ID and stuff, and they have to pay like twelve dollars a month. And you only have to pay twelve dollars a year as a buyer, right? But they have to like actually work for it. Plus, there's like tons of guys compared to like, and it's like hot teen girls all the way to old grandma, weird ladies. But anything you want, right there on Sniffer.com. He's doing that nervous Not associated. laugh where he goes, "I don't know anything. You know, I don't really know about it, but I've He's heard doing about a bit." <laughs> I don't think Sniffer.com is. No, that it's would, a packet sniffer. Okay, was well, that a joke? It. Well, you can buy women's underwear on the line. I know okay, that. I don't. There's all these uh, fetish models that'll sell you anything. Uh, okay. Um, For the longest time, I remember I wanted to get in on the lucrative uh, field of uh, selling used women's shoes, right? So I was trying to convince a female friend. I'm like, listen, we just go to the Goodwill. We buy, like, you know, old women's footwear. Mm -hmm. You take one picture of you wearing it, and we post a description that's like, I've been wearing these gym trainers for the past four years. And then, I don't know, soak them in, like, a tuna fish vinegar solution and then mail oh. them, charge, like, 500 bucks and mail them to a guy, and then he gets to jerk off to smelly lady feet. Why should she have to split it with you? Because I need a – well, because, you know, I came up with Somebody's got to drive to – <laughs> trying to cut the pimp out of the fucking. Come on, you're arguing against the pimp hood here. Yeah, I was going to pimp out that lady you're doing. shoes. It Human was trafficking. trafficking. All right, last one. That was a good. Vito, idea. you're a uh, fat, disgusting piece of shit. Uh, oh, I had the same you. scalp thing, 
It's from wearing hats all the time. All the oil and shit kind of gunk. Yeah, it's up gross. It's from hats. Get all weird. It's not hats. And I uh, you also hats. never drink water, so you're like fucking secreting all this shit. Your kidneys yeah, are marinara. working over time. You just need to drink water and never wear a hat. And honestly, that was the biggest problem in the universe. Every fucking health problem you have is the biggest problem in the universe. All right, love you guys. Is that Bye. true? Water and and hats. It's not a hat thing because I I've always had the fucking scum. Have you always worn hats? No. Oh, okay. I'm a head scum boy, and I live a head scum lifestyle, and uh, frankly, I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> and I bought, I bought a, be. I bought a black head scraper because apparently it can get really uh, deep into the right, pores. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Well, I'm not gonna do it to get black heads. I'm gonna scrape. I know it's enough with the sepum. <laughs> Well, you clicked on the fucking voicemail. I thought that guy was going to help you because he said it was hats, but well, apparently you're you immune to his assistance on this. All right, here. We're a greasy people, the do Italians. You need the, do you need the mouse? Mario has lots of sepum. There they don't tell go. you about it in the Mario games. I doubt that. His entire hair is just goo. It could be. Yeah. Moon Milk for two. First super chat for you busters. Sell Vito Goop. Dominic for two. I wonder how fat Vito is this week. Well, you're not going to find out. Coop for five. Thank you all for not killing yourselves since I lost the first game. I guess I suck ox TBF. Deluxe for 25 rons. Technically, Maddox was the original grape apologist. Remember when he made fun of Elizabeth Smart? Yes. I don't know if he apologized for it, though. Well, but, yeah, I do remember that. Rules for him, not for him. James Gardner for 50 big American wow. dollars. Thank you. Go to the creep off and vote Maddox into the Hall of Fame. Do drugs. Is Maddox a creep off uh, contestant? I guess so, yeah. What's Go the, vote what's for What's the him. creepiest thing he did? Um, Other than stalking, uh, keeping weird. Stalking. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty weird. Putting other women up to stalking. Pretending to be a woman so you could engage in stalking. Yeah, it was pretty weird. Um, he's had a lot of sto weird stories on the show. Having sex with pregnant women because it's like you're doing the baby too. That yeah. was pretty weird. Oh, um, <laughs> that's pretty edgy. Yeah. That's pretty out. That's, Dedicating his that's some internet humor <laughs> right there. That's some 2003 <laughs> Maddox. Yeah, I it's just like having anyway. sex with two women. Got it. <sighs> I tried to buy you some uh, slime merchandise the other day, but uh, like the blanket. Yeah, I tried to get uh, the. Uh, they didn't have the blanket. I was uh, doing those whatnot auctions again, and uh, they had some good slime stuff. I tell you what, don't buy anything. <laughs> Stop buying stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did get those cowboy bebop figures I was talking about. Though. Oh no! Because I realized I afford all this stuff. Anyway. I'd be fucking. I would be livid if I saw this I amount the, of toys I, I looked in. up the amount I spent last year, and it was not actually that bad. What does that mean? Uh, I, I started tracking my spending to see like how much I'm spending, and it's not like more than previous years. Although I did realize that uh, I got an eBay credit card, and so I was like, oh, I forgot to factor that in, so that added oh. a bit to the total. But you get eBay. You get how eBay long can points. you go without buying toys? I've never tried. So. How long do you think you could go? I don't know. And then you, I you go this week. You think you could go all week without buying any figures, figurines? I can't. Or I can't promise that. <laughs> there might be a good auction. There might be a good auction. Someone else can buy it. Yeah, but that's okay, right? No, I don't get it. They have these Desidia blankets. I already have a couple of the Desidia blankets, so I want another one. Uh, it's got the Final Fantasy characters on there. You know? Yeah. So kind of want to collect the set. That set will always be available, though. You don't need it this it week. It goes up in price if you don't get these oh, guys. it doesn't really go up that much, plus I don't I'm, think. I'm bidding against guys who don't even know what it is, so I'm getting, like, bargains. I'm getting it's the trash, good though. stuff. Life is trash. <laughs> it's not. There's, nothing, there's no reason to be here. There's no reason to do anything. Let's put it this way. If I didn't buy shit, I would just, what, it would sit in a money market account and earn 5%. Great. I'm already doing that. Yeah. All right, so whatever. Instead, I invested in a Cowboy Bebop action figure. Maybe that'll be worth money. Same shit. So you can sell it to somebody. Yeah, I can who sell it to somebody else. Pathetic. It also. All right. Uh, let's see. Martin O'Keefe for two euros, three year dry patch and rising, 302 pounds and rising. I'm not 302 pounds. I thought that was about him. Riley Edwards for five Canadian. Finished last episode today. The more I learn about Vito, the grocery <laughs> gets. Also, 308 pounds is my guess for this week. Okay. Coop for five. R.I.P. Chords. I hope you were able to find contentment in your life 
At the very least, you won't need to deal with ball hernia anymore. Oh, did he actually die? I don't I know. I doubt it. I don't believe any deaths online. Crazy Cat for two says, I hate Red Bar. Crazy Cat, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I love Red Bar. Why would you say that? <gasps> yeah. And we are big fans of Red Bar Radio here at the Biggest I know Problem Vito is. in the universe. I love that guy. Uh, Steve for two says, I, man, ig- oh, wait. I'm an ignoramus. That's what you wanted me to say. All right, very clever. Uh, Mint Salad is here for a big five dollars. Good tweets this week, Vito. <laughs> Guys, good. go to twitter.com slash Vito Comedy and watch my hugely viral uh, woman gets murdered video. <laughs> Only I. Can. I can't believe they left that up for so long. I it's st- well, it's still on Twitter, but uh, Instagram took it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although YouTube banned it, and then I submitted an appeal, and then it got unbanned, and I'm like, okay, there's the rules. It did. The rules are all over the place. On the John for two Canadian before Vito Welch is on the way in super chat goal. No, I think I. No, there's never going to be one again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How about we establish a new biggest... Uh, no, okay. don't super chat any money until Vito agrees to the bet. I'll make a $50 a, a month, uh, su- uh, what do you call it, Patreon tier, and every week I'll send you a personalized photo of my scale. <laughs> How's that? $50 a month. At the beginning of every month, I'll get on the scale, I'll take a picture, I'll hold your name. I'll hold your name, and I'll send you a picture of the fucking scale. How's that? $50 a month for the Super Fat Club. <laughs> why are you people so obsessed with my health? Just how let do you me not be know unhealthy. Why? I get okay, but how do you not understand that they don't that they want you to lose weight and you're not? I'm losing weight. I am losing weight. The plan is set. All right. We're going to have a great year. It's going to be a great year for myself and for health. That's so, the bottom line. One year from today, I'll be how much you? How much will you weigh? Uh, let's see. So right now, <laughs> I weigh three hundred two. Probably three hundred five. Yeah, I do not weigh three hundred five. <laughs> I think I could get to two fifty by the end of the year. <laughs> That's forty pounds. What? I could do that. You had six months to lose thirty. 30. Yeah, and you lost and twenty. I did it. So no, I a year you can lose forty. Thirty. Two fifty. I still got to get that money out because I feel. I, why do I get the feeling I'm going to get uh, dicked out of that money if I don't lock it in soon? You might. It's retro. It's retroactive. And it's crypto. Vito loses. Has a ask uh, Sneeko. Yeah. Take his mastery class. I will take his mastery class. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Leave me alone. What is Dick? <laughs> why don't you come up with something funny? Dick's got to do. Why don't you just come up with something that we can humiliate if Dick I was, every week? I'll do a breathalyzer, but I yeah, think everyone can go. tell already when I'm drunk and when I'm not. How about, how about yeah, we have to see how much you drank all week. Not enough. Whatever. Ziggo for two. Vito, what phone do you run and plan to get next? What phone do you run? What phone do I run? <laughs> what is that? Is I that like a, slang for phone I use? Have, I have whatever the Samsung Galaxy 8, I think it is. Whatever the newest Samsung is, because I wanted the good camera for... All the videos I make, which mm. I don't end actually end up making. Uh, I just get whatever the best Galaxy phone is. They oh, do have okay. a good camera, though. Uh. Uh, Mint Salad, Chrissy Mara was a good guest. I am going on Simpcast again next week. Well, if you see that whore, Nina Infinity, <laughs> tell her I say hi. That fucking <laughs> goblin woman. Ask them what they think about the Yaira sisters and their Me Too shit. Yeah. Or the Sasuke sisters. Wear a super killer hat on that fucking show. <laughs> say, hey, Chrissy, what do you think about this tweet? And then read it. And then say, actually, that's from the lore masters of Eric July's uh, yeah, 3D the Tracing universe. Uh, comic say, chop say shop that, that he's got. Here's what you do. Go in and go, did you hear what the new female director of Star Wars said? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, we have to shut up because we're giving away the plot. Uh, all right, let's see. Michael Fee for five. Dick, please dry your hair before the show starts. I thought uh, Vito had a chick for our co-host this I know, week. it looks like shit. I know, I showed up uh, like five minutes to showtime, and I'm like, I can't go on with you. You look like a wet look dog. Like a, yeah. I look like that uh, sketch from I Think You Should Leave. It's like yeah, dog. the dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> Two girlfriends. How great would that have been? Uh, let's see. Michael winning for five says Dick used Vito's head goo as his hair gel this week. Yeah. Calling for five. Show's on fire, guys. Keep it up. Please be, bring Ricada on again. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I would like to have Ricada back. Uh, Jacob for two. How was Epstein's Island? 
It was fantastic. Was the shrimp was great. Johnny Rocket for five. Alex Jones is going Donald Dump on Obama all over Destiny tomorrow in the January 6th debate. Did you see the debate tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Alex Jones against Destiny and the Krasensteins. Yeah, it's Destiny and the Krasensteins. Alex Jones is with, I don't know, two don't other really, psychopaths. Uh, I don't really need to see Alex Jones debating anyone. I've never seen him debate anybody. Piers Morgan, that was awesome. Yeah. But because it was funny. Did you see Vivek uh, tearing into that lady on the news, though? That was pretty good. That was good. great. I gotta, I'm starting to like him. I got to be real with you conservative guys. Vivek's your best guy. Besi behind Trump, yeah. Trump should have Vivek be the vice president. Yes. Vivek's the, yeah. Vivek's the hype man. If Trump has Haley involved in any way, I'm not voting no, for him. No, if he I got If her. he got Vivek... If Vivek's smart, that's what he's angling for. Is yeah. I'm just going to be the smooth-talking vice president yeah. who Trump can whatever, and I can just give sound bites. Sound bite master. Yeah, and he's, he's a master good. of it. He's, he's very good. good. He's very uh, quick on his feet. I would have trouble not voting for that guy. I, I hope that Alex Jones' destiny thing is going to be funny. I guess I'm kind of tired be. of hearing the liberal perspective on January 6th and election fraud. Well, oh. It's January 6th tomorrow. you got to hear about it. You're gonna hear about it every day it's for the rest. Just, of, you're gonna hear about it every day. Painful. We're gonna man. make it a national holiday. They actually did where they were doing a resur They were doing an insurrection. Like, oh, man, fuck off. No I can't believe they haven't made that. it a national holiday yet. It should be like you know, democracy saved Ty day. It should be called what? The day democracy was saved. Democracy oh, day. Oh yeah. The the liberals are gonna add it to the calendar and they're gonna make you celebrate it. Let's just call it George Floyd two day. Yeah, George yeah, Floyd. We good. should have a George Floyd day. I want to have a I want to have the most obnoxious liberal calendar and just really uh people are like life. I they're talking about how great the government is like destiny in full seriousness says yeah but do you realize how many people would have to lie to for there to be a stolen election and it's like you understand like the biggest news story is that Epstein the pedophile that the entire government covered for is the list of names of the government people that he was covering for for raping kids is being released and got delayed because of government like do you do you with a straight face you can say well what do you think there's some kind of government cover up like what do you think this was yeah what but what do you think this was that it was nothing to them they don't even <laughs> care a guy fucking kids on an island is bad okay yeah, but it's not as pertinent to the world as an election potentially being stolen. It's the cover up. An election being stolen would be worse. Would require the cov same cover up. It's it would be easier to cover it up because less people care about it. Easier to cover up what? At the time that Epstein was doing that shit, it was like very easy to just be like, yeah, don't worry about it, don't think about it. Now, now everybody's all amped up on it. Okay, but there was a period of time. But it's still covered up. But an election being stolen at any point in time would be like, oh my god, we got to figure that out. We got to look into it. Not really, because you only have to steal like ten thousand votes, and all the courts are like, no, no, we didn't. We can't hear that. You got no standing. You got no standing in this court. <sighs> How are you arguing on behalf of the of the ch kid rapers? I'm not arguing on behalf of the kid rapers. <laughs> the I'm government covered up all of the kid rapes, right? Yes or no? Uh, Epstein, you can't give me a. Yes, the government covered up Epstein I, I, raping what do, you, kids. what do you mean the government covered it up? What what section of the government? Uh, the judi the judicial section of the government said we're going to let Epstein off with a little slap on the wrist, and let's send the FBI in there and burn all these tapes. But it wasn't like a Supreme Court fucking case, right? It was like tried in New York or something. Well, t uh, there's many uh, places it could have been tried, at, but yeah, part of it was tried in New York. He never not arrested in New York. Okay, he was well, transported you through there. I'm saying, like, what was the original one? Didn't Alan Dershowitz get him off, like, early on? I don't know. Yeah. And, like, in, like, the, like, 2005, yeah. and it was, yeah. like, he got a slap on the wrist slap or whatever. Slap on the wrist. Ah, you're all right. Okay, but get I'm saying, like, you. I don't see the highest echelons of government necessarily. Bill Clinton is not the highest echelon of government? <laughs> Look, yes, I understand that Clinton kind of threw his weight around to get... And raped kids. Okay, but... <laughs> Defending I'm Epstein. not defending Epstein. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that uh, it would be so hard to cover up a election fraud. Why? People are well, because people are yeah. Well, because there's so many moving parts, and it would require you just change the law. Here, we can do more mail-in ballots. All that's, right, mail them that's in. That's not, but that's not the election fraud anyone's talking about. Yes, it is. That there's more mail-in ballots. That's really your problem. 
yeah. Okay. The mail changing the law, breaking the law by changing it, and then the 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 state supreme court saying, uh, "We're not hearing this," or "Yes, you did break the law," and then the U.S. Supreme Court saying, "We're not listening to any of this shit. We don't care." But then your problem is just more people voted. Uh, well, illegally, either people voted Ill illegally or. It it wasn't actually those people. It's just somebody filling out ballots. Okay, and we see, have no way the, of knowing. The second one is the one that it's like I can understand that being election fraud. That was election fraud too. Yeah, but but you you would need good evidence of that. There, nobody audited the votes. They have done. Audits. They did not. Georgia did not audit shit. They just counted it again. Okay. You don't know. I know. You don't know. You, do you do you think that they audited them or that they counted them again? Here's the point. Is Can't answer that one. Do I think the auditor maybe they, Did count they audit them, again. them or count them? You know what? Recount. Like, this is what you guys do. <laughs> what? This is what you guys do. Is you go, all right, there's a million different things that happened. There were ballots here right. or whatever else. Everyone's cheating at the same time. Are very con No, that's not <laughs> yeah. what it is. COVID. Oh, we gotta do mail ins. Our our state constitution says that's illegal. We're doing it anyway. Okay. Uh let's go to the Supreme Court. Wow, well, we're not listening to this till after See, the crime you're happens. You're doing it again. You gotta pay, you go you keep jumping. You keep jumping. You okay, go. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? What were you going to say? I was going to say, if that happened, okay, let's assume that there were mail-in votes that were fraudulent, right? Somebody wrote in whatever name they wanted. Biden. Biden. Okay. Yeah. And they did it to the tune of thousands of votes because that's the amount you would need in order to actually swing here the there, election. A yeah. yeah. couple thousand here or there. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many people do you think were involved in that? Estimate. <sighs> Ten? Ten people. Okay. Yeah. And those ten people are who exactly? Like, what what role are they? Are they election officials? Are they random people? Are they uh, the Illuminati? Uh, vol probably volunteers. Volunteers. DNC volunteers. Okay, so guys yeah. are really hyped up on the Democrats. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. how did, how did they find those guys? They just. What do you mean? Were they just hanging out in the election uh, thing? And it was a guy, and he goes, "I'm so hyped on Biden. I love Biden. He's the best." And you go, "Okay, I got one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring to him in on crimes? the plan. I can trust him. This guy, I can trust." Uh, you're saying how to find criminals? Yes. Yeah, how, that's easy. How to find criminals you can trust? Um, I think you can. You, can, you would mean, identify asking, them. I'm saying, okay, here's what would be how, my. How start. do you find a drug dealer? What do you? I mean, what do you? Are you okay, asking sure. seriously if you can not find criminals? You can find. Criminals. So you find guys who go, I really want to swing the election for Biden, right? And right. They're, they're doing it. They're not doing it for money. Well, sure, they might be. They might. Okay, so they might be getting paid. They might be. They might be doing it for money. They might just be doing it to get their guy elected. Okay, let's go with the easier thing. Doing, I would do it. They're doing it to get their guy elected, right? Yeah. So you found a guy, and he's really ideological driven. He just, I just want Biden to get in because I really hate Trump. Yeah. And then Republicans go, we will give one million dollars to anyone who gives us concrete proof of election fraud. Right. And all of those people would rather have Biden be president than get a million dollars. Uh, yeah, because they're going to fucking prison. What are you talking about? Trump a million just, dollars? Trump just pardon them. Oh, like he pardoned uh, Julian Assange? If you prove the election was fraudulent, then you make uh, Trump president, and he would immediately pardon whoever, the hero who came so forward. So you're saying because, has have they offered a million dollars? There's, for people there's some forward? people who have offered a million dollars. So because criminals guilty of a federal crime haven't come forward, they don't exist? I'm saying that you know any federal crimes are taking place. It would be such, all the time. But I'm saying it would be such a risky thing to just trust random guys. Just go. Well, he really likes Biden. There's no way he's gonna welch. There's no way he's gonna turn around. Or I might even go to him and go, "Hey, do you want to help us steal How votes?" How do you think Antifa works? And he goes, "I believe Antifa has. There's people within Antifa who report on Antifa all the time. Antifa's been infiltrated and by still all sorts of people doing crimes. There's a million FBI guys inside Antifa right now. And if Antifa does They're anything, part of it. Yeah. Exactly. So now your conspiracy has to evolve to involve the FBI because the FBI is also the there. The FBI is texting about how they're going to take down Trump. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course okay. they're guilty. So it wasn't just guys, random guys. I'm it was just saying, also the minimum, FBI you need ten guys to pull this off. And the FBI. And they're super. They fuck. They and think Trump is literally Hitler. And you need the involvement and the silence you don't of the need FBI. Need the involvement of the FBI. No, but, but you if need you the have silence it, of the FBI, dude, you have the AG in New York is running on throwing Trump in jail no matter what. Mm -hmm. They don't have any kind of concept of what's legal or not. They're just trying to kill him. This is the people involved in your conspiracy that they're openly bragging about. It would be so... There would be so many holes. You would need all these low-level morons. Again, not all, all of, these, just one guy. 
Yeah. Hey, here's all the ballots. Oh, yeah, I collected these. Wink, wink. Here you one go. One guy who at no point goes, hey, I feel bad about subverting democracy. Like, None of you feel bad. There are you people. You want Trump dead. None of you feel bad. The point is you go to a guy and you go, you know, how often does it go like this? Is uh, I don't know. How often is, is cocaine being sold around the country right now? No, but how often is, do you hear these stories of a guy who goes, hey, I want to kill my wife. And uh, I found, I, I told my friend and my friend said, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll help you kill, he'll kill your wife. Yeah. And then immediately goes to the FBI and goes, hey, this guy's trying to kill his wife. Yeah. Okay. Now extrapolate that off across the hundreds of or thousands of poll workers. You need to also individually approach. You think people and feel the to same way about law. fucking murder that they do about? Oh yeah, I'm gonna cram fucking ballots in what here. What are the odds that not a single person would welch on this elaborate plan, which you admitted just involves What's random welching? people? Oh yeah, I let I let a bunch of ballots through past the deadline. Whoops. Why don't one of you guys just pretend to be like a hardcore lefty guy, hang out in an election place, keep saying, I'll do anything to get Biden elected. I'll do fucking anything. I'll kill my mother. And then when somebody comes to you and goes, hey, are you serious about that? You go, yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, okay, cool. Here's how we're going to do it. Yeah. There you go. Because we don't have any black guys. Yeah. Well, so we well, can't do the. That's the problem. <laughs> Johnny Rocket for, uh, no, already did that one. Jeff M for five. Please, for the love of God, no more talk about Vito's head goo. <laughs> Fuck you. Hugh Jazz for two. New year, new problems. Cheers, guys. Lemon Trashy for five. I got catfished. Turns out all these sexy lady pictures I've been liking were posted by a guy. My reputation oh, no. is ruined. Can someone help? Oh, is that the, the r- stupid Someone Ricada was sending stuff? Ricada pictures claiming to be a sexy woman and Ricada. I can't believe it. He said, Wow, look at those tits. And that means he's gay because it was actually a guy. I don't know that guy. it was a guy. It's know. coming from Kiwi Farms. And they're know. the ones that said Bella's boiling hamsters, which is preposterous on its face. I just don't and get it. hate Rakita. I think getting catfished is like... You doing something embarrassing. Right. It has to expose something. That's like the whole point. Like, oh, man. Saying you think pictures of a chick are hot is not... In public. <laughs> in public. And then going, uh-huh. well, it's actually, actually me, a guy. It was me. But right, the well, pictures aren't of a guy. The pictures are odd. of a girl. It's a guy posted pictures of a girl. What'd you? Oh, I bet you sent him something really dirty. Hey, what no. do you think of these tits? Oh, those are pretty nice. Those are my tits. Oh, you have nice tits. Ah! I'm a guy. You're gay isn't now. It funny? Why isn't everyone making fun of Nick? Because it's so funny. The hate against Nick is becoming uh, stupid. Oh, uh, exhausting. Mike, Michael Fee for five. My grandmother would have suggested a hooker's bath. You watch your, wash it's your face. It's a sailor's bath or a hooker's bath, not a fucking well, but Mexican yours shower. Perfume, though, yeah, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Spray Old Spice all over yourself. My grandmother says a hooker's bath. You wash your face, armpits, and crotch with water from a sink. There you go. Gentleman Sausage for five. If nothing else, Vito's hand down the most sebaceous comedian on the internet. And that's a compli- uh, accomplishment for which he'll always be remembered. Stray Beans for three says Eric July reduced the price of his $99 a month members club. Well, at least he realized what a ridiculous. He probably had nobody sign up for the $100 I hate that tier. Shit. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, because everyone's like, what is it? I get 30% off t shirts? How is this? He I- made it bad by giving you a discount. Like, he made it seem crass by giving this shitty discount. Right. You should have known. It's also one of these things where I think when you reach the point that you're making millions, obviously making millions of dollars from your entrepreneurial whatever, you have to turn it around. Like you can't just be with us. We can have a Patreon because we suck, and also you get a little something. You get the yeah, the bonus episode. But him for a hundred dollars, you get nothing. It's like, well, no, you got to do what uh, Sneeko's doing. You got to tell people I'm going to make you a millionaire or whatever. There has to be a value proposition. I'll be your dad. I'll be your dad. You get to talk to me. I will send you a postcard once a year. Yeah. Saying, I'll be back from the store soon. On Father's soon. Day. Yeah, on Father's Day. <laughs> That's a pretty good bet. That's how Father's Day works, right? <laughs> Your dad gives you a card. Sends you a card. Uh, no. Coup for five, a tro or GVRO in California, requires you to temporarily give up your guns to the police, and you need to petition to get them back. Yeah. I'm not saying you should accept a uh, restraining order. I just don't know why he would need one. When is it the last time you have been in the vicinity of Maddox on purpose? He would get one for talking about him because yeah. he's a retard. Do they have that? They have restraining orders, just like you can't mention this person. Ralph has one. His uh, first baby mama. It's so weird that that's them. like uh, an obvious First Amendment violation. Yeah, it's horrible. Cool for two. Maddie knows the adage: "Fat is." I mean, I flavor. think he has one. I don't know. That's true. Fat is flavor. Uh, salt, fat, heat. 
I got all of it. JJ for five. I hope Crimson will enjoy his holidays and give him all the energy he needs since he needs to go find a job now. Get a job, Crimson. Snazzy Raz for 10. Hey, Dick, what was that pre-work you recommended to Sean? American Vintage. American Blast. Vintage. Wait, what do you mean pre-work? Pre-workout, you oh. drink it before you work out. Okay. Coup for two. We need a weigh-in jingle. Name your price veto. Huh. Well, not going to be any weigh-ins ever, I guess. Somebody doesn't like money. Again, 50, oh, yeah, there $50 we go. a month, you can get the scale picture. That. Michael Fee for five. Vito refusing to make the fans happy. Make some Maddox. Okay. <laughs> They're throwing out the M word. Cougar Hughes for 10. Hey, Vito, 292. <laughs> towel rag. It's not a towel rag problem. Michael Fee for two. Fatix gained. No. <laughs> Paranoid syntax hour for five. This super chat could have had two zeros at the end of it just for the weigh-in veto. Honestly, I just feel bad for Yeah, Dan. they're going to get mean, too, <laughs> when you don't give them what they want, Johnny, like Maddox says. Uh, Johnny Rocket for two says, Boogie dumped his girlfriend. She got too old. No, he oh, didn't. No. Did he? I thought he was marrying he her. He traded her for some magic cards, no, I heard. They're still together. Traded her for some dual lands. Influence history for five. Can I use the pledge manager to add extra shipping fees onto my comic? I'm not really into comics. I just like paying for shipping. Yeah, sure. Go nuts. Darius Ranikova goes for five. Classy to give out the comic for free to those who don't have any money, yet nickel and dime is actual supporters. <laughs> I'm not nickel and diming anyone. You have to pay for the shipping. That's it. What's the pro? I could have charged it up front. I'm charging it later. It's If you don't want the con, you can get a refund, okay? Oh, no. I've already said that. <laughs> When the shipping prices come out, you can look at it and you go, you know what? The shipping's too much. I don't want the comic anymore. Oh and that's God. fine. But the shipping's going to be very affordable. Who could say that? Who would say that? What's it going to be? Four bucks plus four bucks shipping and hand handling? No, there's not going to be any handling charge. <laughs> it's all going to be very affordable. Uh, you know what? I'll ship it in Eric July's $15 cardboard mailer. How's that? Okay, that's cool. White Bandit for two. You guys never watched John Riff's Maddox video. Oh, oh shit. Which sorry. One that was. Guy cool for five. Vito, drink rain if you want to drink energy drinks. They're 10 calories and zero sugar. I like prime. I already said it's Logan Paul. He's such a fuckbag. Yeah, I know. It sucks. Sc sc scam artist or whatever. 50 Sun owns vitamin water. Oh, he's he's not a crypto scammer, though, is he? I guess there's cents? nothing wrong with 50. I was trying to think of what 50 Sun did wrong, but he's actually a pretty Hanging nice guy. Down. Yeah. Laughing about it, too. The worst thing 50 Cent ever did was not give me a re-release of 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, the PS2 game where 50 Cent conquers Fallujah. Oh, that's uh, cool. That is a good one. Michael Fee for 10. Celsius is good, too. I've lost 110 pounds so far, and I drink a Celsius every morning. TBF, I also exercise daily and count calories. Good try. Nice try. On the John for two. See, I called it Fat Exchange. <laughs> okay. Peter Hands for five. You guys should do a review of the American Society of Magical... Black people, based on the trailer, it's going to be awful. Am I allowed to say the name of the movie if it's a name of a movie? I wouldn't. I don't want YouTube's filter would probably see me say it and strike Is the that stream. what they mean with we need more black voices? No. Like a fucking joke movie that's got magical <laughs> ends in it? Slurp cool. for 500 Japanese yen. I believe at the current exchange rate, that's about $3.50. I think he's contributing to, again, biggest problem in Japan coming soon. You should look into it. Biggest problem is mandatory corporate fun work outings organized by the HR Gestapo with people you hate where you can't get drunk or say slurs. That sounds like you should vote up office parties. That's yeah. another one. Dumb user neighbor five when you tap the shift key too many times and that pop-up appears. There's oh, a the sticky keys. Fuck sticky keys. You can permanently disable that, I'm pretty sure. I had that. I got to do that then. I think it, when it pops up, you can permanently disable it. How are you guys oh. still getting the sticky keys warning? I hate it. Pigeon for five. Vito, boy, they run fast, don't they, Giswaldi? Well, they're good. At All right. But Maxwell for 17. Vito and Dick, it's your boy Prime. As an attorney, I'm considering reaching out to Maddox to satisfy my pro bono requirements. It's the least I could do for a vulnerable, low-income adult. Well, you know, oh, you'd violate attorney pri uh, Yeah, exactly. Thing, so I can't get anything good out of it. Why does he want to restrain it? How does that help him at all? Just say he's something to lord over you? Yeah, because he would say, like, but he wants this, a court gave me a restraining order, so that makes me right. Would that make it so that you couldn't talk about him on your show anymore? Is that what he wants? Um, He wants me in jail. Well, he's not getting that. He wants a Patreon to... He wants Patreon to ban you. To ban I know me. That. That's all he wants. So if you email him and ask to get taken off his stupid Nazi doc doxing yeah. list, he says, thanks, and if you also want to help, here's... Patreon's complaint and their VC investors, like Tiger Capital, that's got, you know, who knows? So he's a bad billion. person. 
He's a total. He's a total piece of shit. Yeah, he deserves to be creep of the year, decade, whatever they're doing. He's a total piece of shit. It's like he's yeah. he's extorting people to get them off of a list yeah. that has a bunch of Nazi shit on it, and then using them to email Patreon and Patreon's dad to get me kicked off. It's like too. Uh, it's like you know when something's like funny, but then it's like it's not actually funny. It's like it's not funny. That's just fucked. Yeah. Just go do, like, the banana. What, what else could he do? He could make, like, another video about, like, uh, Ed Sheeran sex or, you know, yeah. go make some cuck pornography or something. Cuck porn. Do yeah. that. Do you like cucks? It's just. <laughs> Anytime I start thinking about Maddox, I get, like, I'm like, come on, man. I got, I have a signed copy of his book somebody sent in. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Should burn it. I was looking. I'm not gonna burn it. I did fuck up the dust jacket though. I was like, oh, I gotta get another dust jacket yeah. for my Maddox book. I think I might have one here. <laughs> we have you? this one. No, I don't have a copy of that one yet. What that, is have? that the good one? I have the fire truck book. Oh, the fire truck book is horrible. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Okay, well, is Alphabet of Manliness is that the good one? Yeah, that was the first one. He yeah, wrote. and then it was the fire truck book, and then it was the whale book. <laughs> yeah. Why does he make like another book? Because he can't write. <laughs> He's not funny. <laughs> There's gotta be something he can do. There's no way he can get another book deal. Not after his behavior. Did you guys watch that that TikTok where he's in that restaurant? And everybody keeps like getting up and changing seats. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. They're roofing their date. Oh, they're everyone's all roofing, roofing and their all... date, <laughs> and then they're all tapping. <laughs> that's fun. It's like the kind of sketch that's like a. Like you just describe it and that's it. It's the like kind of sketch that a woman in LA wrote. Oh, is it? I'm sure it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Projects done poorly for five. The world will one day realize that Sean Connery was right about how to treat women. Yes. Way Bandit for two is this the new airing of grievances episode. <laughs> I feel like every episode is becoming the airing of grievances. Uh, as the show goes on, <laughs> you discover more and more things. No, we love the show. God of Hellfire for five. Vito, thanks for the snacks. There you go. Darius Ranakovic is for five. Vito whining about control is this show's very own diversity, equity, and inclusion. LJ Cabarino for five. Vito must un or Richard must unalive Vito. Vito must unalive Richard. How are y'all going to do it? I would never kill you, dick. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, Thanks. You're the only thing keeping me alive. <laughs> Terry Hesticles for two. Why is Vito's problem just woke marketing? Shut up. God of Hellfire for ten. <laughs> Biggest problem is people pointing out how problems be similar. Like they'd be mad that the list is whatever, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Some problems yeah. are similar to other problems. What do you want me to do? Go Disciple of Dagon for two. Glad to catch my two dads streaming smooches. Thank you. Thank Coop you. Coop for five says, Vito, you're beautiful at any size. Wet Bandit for five says, Vito crying oh, about keyboard Fatics rights. Gain, Fatics gain. Just that's what so he's trying to say. Fatics gain. He's a huge F -word. slur. Oh, he's doing a song. Yeah. The old. Fatics gained. Fatics you didn't know this song, do you? I know. I've heard it. You have? Yeah. Fatics gain. Fatics gain. That's what he's trying to say. Don't call me. Oh, my God. I, that's going to catch on. Wet Bandit for five. Vito crying about keyboard rights just so he can Google a Wikipedia page of a woman dentist so he can fake outrage over it. It was pathetic. <laughs> Thought it was a good bit. Tim K for five. Why does Vito pet and pat his gurgling tummy every time he laughs? laughs? No, I don't. <laughs> that's not a thing. God of sleep for 10. Vito demands keyboard equity. I do. I like having the keyboard. <laughs> I so think why don't you have, bring your own fucking I'll keyboard, get my own in. keyboard I'm going to get my own keyboard. Good point. Claptrap to the story for 10. How much to get Vito to do a freestyle over the Titanic song or Titanic adjacent rap beat? No no rapping. Oh, Always man. Goes badly. No, no, Vito's not doing anything at all. No <laughs> rapping. No way in. Look. Mm. I will do I hate Super Chat Fit. Why don't you guys come up with some bits for Dick? Because I'm not f any good at these things. Uh, you do the you do the Scott Adams. That's good. Yeah. You do the uh, call to prayer, which is terrible. And uh, they're, they're all good. JJ for five. Jack Murphy had the liminal order. Most famous member. Oh, yeah. Was a guy named McLeod who did a goofy thing he in killed Denver. Killed somebody. Yeah. Uh, all these guys. Real, yeah, the masculinity guru. I thought we actually do, did something about these guys before, but I don't know. Got to send we, the we FTC. Talked, we talked about them. Jack Murphy before. I know that. Yeah, just own it. Dean Shock for ten. Another banger, boys. Dick looking extra fine with that wet hair. It is such a marvel to watch Eric spin stories around like we all have the memory of a goldfish. He just will not shut up. He's talking about actually quality 
and being on time are the same. Yeah. You don't sacrifice one for the other. And then he's got floating 3D doors in the <sighs> middle of his panel. Okay, what drives me nuts is Eric's not drawing any part of the comic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he's really writing the comic. I think he makes like a 10 page outline and somebody else like fills it in. There's no way. It's way too stupid. And every character talks like him. So you think he's writing an entire script? Yeah. I think he might like have them hand it back to him and then he just pencils in the dialogue for scenes that they've already created. Be like, he would actually say this here. Like, I can see, I can see him like changing the dialogue around. Uh, man, it's too bad for somebody, for anybody who's ever written, like, a ghostwriter to come up with. It's yeah. too bad. I just don't understand how you write an entire thing and at no point ever once in your thousands upon thousands of tweets and videos go, when I was writing ISOM, I did this. Uh, As I yeah. was writing ISOM, I started to think, what if? I've never heard him say anything about That's the writing process at all. It's something that would just randomly come up, like, oh, why did you make Isom this way? Well, as I was writing it, I knew that in this scene, huh. he was going to have to do this. So that's the reason I wrote it like that. You're right. And as a writer, as somebody who's talking about shit I've written, that it's, like, impossible to not talk like and that. And he is very obnoxious. He talks all the time. I don't think he wrote it. I think you're right. That Caro chick did. Somebody else. She does like urban fantasy. Or I something. don't know who else wrote it. And again, I don't actually. Know. I promise. I guarantee she wrote it. But there's there's she's no, on the cover. There's no way you write an eighty page comic and have endless live streams about it. And if somebody has, Eric doesn't even write a tweet without talking about what he was thinking right. during the tweet. You're right. If anyone has a clip of him being like, this is why I wrote it this way, or I knew I had this scene, I originally had it here, but then I realized I had to move it so it would fit in here. Or the reason I wrote this character like this, I've never heard him say a single thing like that. Busted. Dude, it's like- You're like Derek Chauvin. I, I've written. Or and, he's Derek Chauvin and you're <laughs> that judge that sent him to prison. I want to hear him say those things because I genuinely- it'd be hilarious. I want to know <laughs> what his writing process is, but as time has gone on, I go, is, I don't think he has a writing process because I don't think he wrote it. And if he did write it, I think he handed like a, like a four-page outline to somebody you're and said, right. Isom goes to a bar, Isom confronts Darren, Isom fights this guy. Like He might have a list of bullet points- but there's no way that he went panel, like the way my script is, I have an 80 page script, you've read it. Panel one, Isom enters the bar and sees yeah, this. Yeah, it's normal. Panel two, I don't think he, I, I don't think he wrote that. I don't think there, that exists. And if it he exists, would he would definitely didn't write have it. said, this is the moment I realized when yes. I had to get Isom back to the Taylor. Right. In Taylorsville. Right. <laughs> and that's when I thought, this would really fuck up my After, audience yeah. of Max if I had his <laughs> Sam have a gun and then I cut away. I invented that. Right. I invented, I call it a, a, a July, an ISOM hanger. <laughs> an <laughs> I ISOM have to hanger. come back. Named after like my a cliffhanger? No, 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 never. I, no, Cliff Richards, the artist? No. No, I don't ISOM work with him anymore. Hanger. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> I really don't think he wrote it. I think you're onto something. Well, let's put him on a lie I'm, detector test. I have no way to prove it, but. I, I've already said I will pay $100 for the ISOM script. Everybody start fucking with Eric that he didn't really write it and ask him what he was thinking when, <laughs> when he, wrote he wrote this line scenes. of dialogue and see what he... Uh, hoopa, jupa, dupa, uh, 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 I mean, my belief is somebody out there has to have the ISOM script. I don't know who. I want to read it, and I want to see if Eric's the one who wrote it. He hasn't. You're right. He hasn't talked about writing it. Not once. He would have obviously. He would have talked about it. Yeah, but that's why he can only he talk about buying his second. That's why he lift. can only talk about oh. warehouses because he had nothing to do with the creative process of the comic, other than probably coming up with the generic idea and maybe some plot beats. Maybe Glenn Beck wrote it. Maybe he put on a do rag and some shoe polish. I on think his there's face like, some yeah. ghostwriter within that organization. I mean, be Jewish right when I'm done with this. Someone has suggested it could be that Carol lady. It very well might. It's got to be her. And if he wrote it, I just don't. Why does he not talk about it? If it was her, it? she's a fucking terrible writer. <laughs> I don't if, know. if she wrote that, she is not non binary. She's a woman. Because <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Uh, I really want to read the ISOM script. I need to know who actually wrote it. Disciple of Dragon for five. 
told Shorty to keep that box breathing. Yeah, she's squeezing the garlic. Nice. Michael Fee for 20. I had an employee, 26 years old, who quit his job because he wanted to join a day trading boot camp. <laughs> he had to go to L.A. He wasn't allowed to bring his car, and he had to sell and install solar panels in exchange for the training. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's better that Sneeko's just ripping kids off and not making them install solar panels. Wow, whoever's came up with that maybe went to Sneeko's. <laughs> yeah. Scam all artist these, That's class. all they're going to teach you in their liminal order or whatever the thing is like, listen, you, Scam see, people. you see how we just got $100 from you? Do that to other people. Did you ever hear the story of the guy who, uh, you know. The man-eating he, chicken? No, he would put out ads in the magazine and he'd be like, do you want to make $50,000 from your home this year? Yeah. Easiest thing in the world. Send me five dollars, and I will sell you the secrets to making fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> and people send him five dollars, and he would send them a letter back saying, "You know what you just, you know what I just did to get your five dollars? Do that." <laughs> and that was all he would send him. <laughs> That's great. It's pretty good. I think he charged like a hundred bucks. The secrets of success. He's like, "Do what I just did to you, you to fucking other idiot. people." Yeah, to other yeah. people. Just rip them off. Mark for ten, Dick. You're really crushing it, lady. Oh, this is you talking. Dick says, you're really crushing it lately with the abundance of spaghetti. Oh, no, this is directed at you. Arm day is clearly going well. Vito, your fat hit the gym. I still love the content. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Disciple of Dagon for five. Diamonds come from the most horrific situations possible. Slurping a quick release perk off the plate like a pinto bean. Are they're making are they're making a rap song, right? I think with all these something. things. She's squeezing the garlic. Yeah. Diamonds come off the yeah, they're having They gotta fun. be. Euthanasia. Give them a good read, you know. Okay, next time I'll spit yeah, yeah. the bars. <laughs> How's that? Euthanasia enthusiast for seven Canadian. Thanks, fellas. Good show. Thank you, sir. MC Hellshit for a Big Ten with a thumbs up man with a hat. A dog, a little blue dog. Okay, I love it. Butts Grenois for five. Just exchange greases already. Turbo Garbage for five. Screw bonus episodes. Where's the silly pants skating routine? You're on the hook. I know. I got to email some people. You're back. on the fucking hook, dude. I can't believe you agreed to do that. I never thought I would get anywhere close to $20,000. I also didn't think it. <sighs> Meanwhile, if this show had more bonus tiers, we could be getting closer. But what are you going to do? Disciple of Daggett for two. <laughs> Vito Airlines, the Q-Tip Express. Yes. <gasps> Petty for a big $20. Eat your veggies, Crimsel. Someone's got to make this kid eat his vegetables. Early 80s for 200. What is that? Me pesos? Yeah, Mexicans. Hey, if you guys are going to Japan, you should sign up for one of those wacky Japanese game shows. That'd be great. Can think, we do that? I think they want you to know Japanese, though, right? Well, they just put uh, not white from, guys not according on there. to Saturday Night Live. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to do that sketch anymore. Sadly, uh, uh, fucking Mike Myers did a great Japanese guy. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Uh, cheese in my pockets. Velveeta for five. Did do when did the following wars happen? Revolutionary War, Civil War, etc. Live for your video content. Oh, you want us to do that? We've it's talked funny, about. But I don't that. have a YouTube channel. Yeah. What am I gonna fucking do? Put that it on, on this channel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's not make any content for the channel. Good point. Dumb well, username for five. I don't want to get banned. I'm just fucking with you. Oh yeah. Good show recommended by Kyle FPS. Russia was the black comedy Mister In Between. Twenty six episodes in the series, only twenty minutes an episode. That's what I okay. want. I want quick. I want Simpsons reruns. Yeah. That's what I want. Random guy for five. What do you think of it? It's always sunny in Philadelphia, Dick. Great show. Well, it good, and then it got all woke in, like, the eighth season. And, and it's they had to ban all the blackface episodes or whatever. Yeah. And then I hear those guys talk, like, when they're off yeah. camera. It's like, can you guys just, like... The longer you stay in Hollywood, the more you become Hollywood. Can you pretend to be funny? It happens to all those guys, man. Yeah. And then they all end up disavowing their old stuff. DLK for five. Love this show. Hosted by my favorite podcasters, Dick Masterson and Mr. Feast. Thank you. Kagon Postal for two. Vito's Taco Bell and Prime Fund. I'll take that. Carl Duckett for five New Zealands. Vito, have you tried Huel? It's like dog food for humans or spaceman powder. You get all the calories and vitamins you need in one easy shake. Yeah, my problem is that I don't have enough uh, bland paste <laughs> to eat. That's, uh, that's what I'm really, is it really? losing out on. Uh. I wish I had more gruel is uh, my biggest problem. So oh. many people that uh, swear by Huel. Yeah. That Instagram food. I'm so excited that I'm just going to, even though the weight loss conscious is over, I'm still being recommended what stupid shit I got to eat and drink and whatever <laughs> else. I hope it goes on forever. Dumb username for five, weight loss conscious idea. If Dick incorrectly guesses Vito's weight, he has to sniff the inside of Vito's hat. I don't think either of us would want that. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Jacob for 10. I don't 10. think the audience wants that. I don't think anybody needs that. Jacob says, I had a patello 
femoral surgery recently. Do you have any idea what that is? Is that the leg? Yeah, some okay. artery, some kind of... I don't Why don't know. you say heart surgery or something? Yeah. Nobody knows what a fucking patello femoral is. It was a long recovery, but thanks, Vito, for being here with his show to help me get by. I ended up having to fly to Africa for it since oh. that's where the knee is extended. Yeah, but he didn't say extended. Cap. He says extended. it grows. Okay. I do love that old pun. David Gomez for five. Vito tries to scam us out of bonus episodes. I'm not scamming anyone out of bonus episodes. I'm taking five of my pledge off. Biggest problem, putting it on the Richard Show. Also, VOO is the S&P 500. Oh, what did I say? I don't know what you said. I think you might I have said, I said that. I said S&P, yeah. Michael, well, you said no. You said the Dow Jones. Oh, sorry. I forget the difference between the Dow Jones and the S&P. Michael Different V for index. five. Contest time. Dick versus Vito. Dick tries to go one week without drinking. Vito tries to go one week without buying toys. No. Neither of us has to do any of that. You like to drink. I like to buy Cowboy Bebop figures and arrange them lovingly I would on my stop shelf. You. Yeah, but both are very unhealthy. There's definitely a level of... Uh, I could stop drinking more than you could stop buying toys. I feel like I go through phases of buying toys. Monday, Tuesday. Yes. Wednesday. <laughs> I, yeah. don't, I don't normally buy a lot of shit. Just lately I've been like, eh, it's cold, you know. I think oh the cold my weather... Oh, God. You went from, you went from actual trying to get healthy mm. to tanking it with gimmicks yeah. of water weight, and now you're back on eating, <laughs> buying shit. What can you do? Winter, uh, winter affects us all in different ways. <laughs> uh, Disciple Dagger for five, head gunk Vito, exfoliating Vito, always with the fermented <laughs> core cheddar. <laughs> DC Connolly for two, drug test not of breathalyzer. Jacob for five, head and shoulders is cheaper than the weird scalp scrapers you buy. Vito, David Gomez for two, last super chat until Vito weighs in. <laughs> Don't encourage that. Anonymous for five. Thank you, Anonymous. <gasps> LJ Clabberino for five. Dick and Vito, would you rather have two lesbian moms or two gay dads? Gay dads. Eh, yeah. Disciple of Dagon for two. Vito, we want to see your Bara arc. I don't What's know. What's that? that? Some anime shit. Soul 2X for two. Last chat until Vito weighs. <laughs> I'll just end the show. How's that? How about, you know what? Last episode. There you go. I'll just end the show. Is that what you want? Dumb motherfuckers. Don't try to blackmail me. You need this show more than I do. All right? Sounding very I'll just leave. You know what? I'll just leave. I'm just done. I'll just move. No more show because everybody's so mad because their gonna favorite move? bit that I gave them for six straight months is on temporary hiatus. I'm going so to win though. When is it coming I'm off going, hiatus? I'm going to New Hampshire. I'm going to live in the knife warehouse. <laughs> Buy all your knives and uh, bladed goods at PVK on when the internet. When is the internet. bit coming out of hiatus? Well, we got to we got to workshop it a little bit. <laughs> Uh, Anonymous for five says, Vito, you're beautiful. Thank you. Drunk at Atheist Studio for five. I had to have a guy arrested twice within 12 hours. The second time he tried to break into my apartment uh, with a hammer. The judge denied me a restraining order. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah, you're a man trying to get a restraining Only ladies get those. Jacob uh, for two. We need Dick to weigh in as well. I I feel very fat today. I've got to be 217. I wish I was 217. At least. You got, you got some good, you got some beefy arms though, huh? Yeah, but I've been drinking a lot and eating a lot this week. Yeah. I'm telling you, Christmas time, like the holidays. I was fine last week. Doesn't cold weather make you feel like you're going to, you want to like, I don't know, eat more? Eat? No, yeah. not really. Get through the cold. Kara Fro for 20. My nine year old daughter asked why the kids at school giggle and act like dick is a bad word. She asked, aren't they talking about that guy you listen to? Hmm. I lulled and told her they're just jealous. <laughs> jealous. It's not, not a, a bad, bad word. word. Get yeah, out of here. Jealous. <laughs> Car from Mary What's his stars. last name? Cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. that poor family. Just, you're going to ruin that girl. Don't tell her any of this stuff. James uh, Gardner for 20. More bunnies in the chat. Coup for five. Last part of the fat exchange party. Here's a kitty diddler. <laughs> Shut up. Euthanasia <laughs> enthusiast. He is a kitty diddler. <laughs> I Terrible. Guys. I knew the perk was fake, but I ate it anyways because I'm a gremlin. Krim is older than you, Vito, and he eats dino nuggies. Well, that's no good. Guys, we have a great show here. Don't forget, check out all the bonus episodes Except at for the patreon.com way in. That's not a good slash part. biggest problem. Last super chat mark for two. Vito, make your arms bigger instead of weight loss. We will do it. Uh, is this our current Patreons? Yes, we yeah. love you all. 
Once again, we will be doing our biggest problem in 2023 roundup. That'll be hopefully Monday, very Tuesday. soon. Maybe Monday we can record that. Okay. Don't forget to check it out. Vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And guys, please, on the Biggest Problem site, there is a new short that I have posted. Put it on loop and watch it endlessly so it gets into the algorithm. Oh, the Wolverine, the Wolverine one. one? Yeah, At least watch yeah, it yeah. once. We got some funny stuff in there. It's a good yeah. clip. Dick, thanks for having me. <laughs> and uh, that is the final episode of this stupid uh, uh, weight loss show. Man, how are we going to get you on that scale? I've got to gamify it again. Nah, i got to use other means. If you make a stealth scale, are you going to trick me? Yeah. Every time I come in, the scale's hiding in a different part of the... I'm going to have to. I'm forced to now. <laughs> You for, you're forcing me. Hey, I'm like, Vito, there's cookies up on the high shelf. You just got to step on this box real quick to get to them. <laughs> okay, cool. I do like cookies. I'm going to weigh. I'm going to put a scale under your car. Okay. And then I'm going to see what the car... What if I put stuff in the car? I'm always putting... It's when you get out, though. Uh -huh. You're going to park, and mm -hmm. the scale will register something. Oh, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell the city. And then when you get out, the street. when you get out of the car... You don't know where I'm going to park. I got nothing but time. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I got all the time in the world, buddy. Why don't you just knock me out and throw me on a scale? Why don't you just, you know, cold cock me in the back of the head? I want to throw my back bottle. out for this bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, goodbye, everyone. Have fun.